Hello, our little spooks. I'm Kimberly. And I'm Lexi. Welcome to the Guarded by Demons podcast where we discuss all things horror. Well, we hope you're ready because we have a lot of spooky fun headed your way in October. Continuing our week long countdown, Halloween is day two, where we took a trip to Ohio to participate in an annual Halloween parade. But I'm going to be honest, and it might just be the older sister in me talking, but I've seen the same like little kid in their like footy pajamas and like a burlap sack mask everywhere we go <laughs> and it's kind of concerning so today our dear listeners uh will be discussing michael doherty's 2007 film trick or treat kimberly um we're in ohio it is probably the exact same kid you're seeing everywhere also who voluntary you made us come here i hate you <laughs> <laughs> No, I'm kidding. This is a really fun movie. <laughs> it's a really fun movie. Thank you for continuing my little bit. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I heard Ohio. I was like, I have to p- bounce off of this. I'm sorry. It's too easy. Of course. Of course. Also, my cousin is from Ohio. Amazing. He hates it there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. <laughs> I think the only person who genuinely <laughs> likes Ohio is Mark Blyer. Because he was born there. He likes it there. That makes sense. <laughs> That makes complete sense. Should we get into this movie? Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. (laughs) Honestly, guys, I hope you stick to the end because I have so many fun facts for you guys later on. I am so excited. (laughs) All right, let's get to this movie. This movie was so fun, bro. So we start with the opening credits. (laughs) Well, actually. It's the... We should start with the... Movie company logo. Yeah, movie company logo. Legendary pictures. (laughs) Uh, to be fair, it looks like hell the... opening up. Oh, it does. Then we get the uh, opening scene, which is a little PSA about Halloween. It's a little Halloween safety. It's a Halloween safety tip uh, video. Never go, never go to a stranger's that... But that's the fucking... What do you mean? It is the point about Halloween. Hello? But they're saying never go alone. Yeah. You gotta be there. And as we're going, we see someone with a wagon that has a little pumpkin that almost gets run over by a car. You know, a jack-o'-lantern. With uh, girls just laughing. Yeah. Oh, man, I really like this front yard. Same here. It's really cool. Uh, so we see a couple, and the woman is wearing a robot suit. Yeah, it looks like um, the nanny from the Jetsons, kind of. Yeah. I like it. But she wants to uh, turn out the jack-o'-lanterns. That they and she have, does. That they have out front, yeah. He's saying not to because it's, well, tradition. You're not supposed to. Yeah. But we do get a little POV shot of, uh... Something. Yeah. Looking of something. Watching them. And that something through. is very small. <laughs> Tiny. And he sees the uh, jack-o'-lantern being... Snuffed out. Yep. So this couple is outside on their porch, and the woman wants to take down everything. Uh, is it because her mother's coming? Right. Uh, yeah, her mom. Yeah, her mother's coming in the morning, and because she'll freak out at all the Halloween decorations. Your mom sounds like a shit ton of fun, lady. Yeah. Seriously. You know, like he just wants to leave it up. He doesn't care. He doesn't. He care. likes the holiday. He wants to get laid. Yeah. Either way, she gives in. Apparently, it seems like the only way you can get it up is by watching a porn they have on a VHS. I guess. Sometimes that happens. <laughs> Sometimes you just gotta do that. Sometimes you guess. He's like a panda. They can only fucking mate when they're watching panda porn. That's fucking <laughs> That's not a lie either. I swear to God, it's a thing. <laughs> oh, but uh, she told him to go inside, put on the tape, and she's staying outside so she can take off all the decorations. Which is a shame because... Their front yard is so amazingly decorated. Yeah, there's like uh, fake limbs and heads and stuff hanging from trees. They have all of these different ghosts. They're T-posing on their haters. Um. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, she looks across the street and she sees like uh, trick-or-treaters running uh, down the street. And she sees this mysterious figure staring at her. Wearing a white mask. Also, it's very funny to me and I noticed this... Um, as we were watching this, I was like, it's funny how she says she hates Halloween, but then, like, she's super 
Like, she's so happy to see kids be happy. I'm like, I, I guess, but I mean. <laughs> like, dude, you either, you're either in or you're out. Pick a side. I think she just likes the idea of, like, oh, kids are really happy with this. Like, they're having fun. Yeah. Um, But she just doesn't like the holiday in general. But she's happy that, like, you know, the kids are having fun with it. She looks least. like somebody who watches Hallmark movies. Hallmark Christmas movies. She looks like someone who's in Hallmark movies. Shit, you're right. She probably is, actually. I don't know. I don't know this actress. Also, anyway, uh, the fucking figure is just somebody who is waiting for Ooh. his friends. Yeah. <laughs> He got picked up by his friends. Yeah. And she got jump scared. It was the... No, she wasn't jump scared. Something no. Something actually got her. Oh, yeah. Little short figure actually got her. She's under a sheet, and she gets her throat slit by a jack-o'-lantern lollipop that has been bitten into. And dragged inside. And all I hear is a <laughs> little kid grunts. Yeah. And I, I, I thought it was cute and funny. All the while, her <laughs> boyfriend is upstairs laying on the bed watching pornography. Waiting for her and to falling come up. asleep. And falling asleep. Oh, it's not even her boyfriend, it's her husband. Yeah, it's her husband. I forgot about that. He literally fell asleep, woke up, saw the tape, smiled at it, and then knocked out again. That's a mood. Um, but now he's awake because it's after I wanna say like a little bit more into the night. Yeah. Um the tape has been finished. It's and just white he, noise. Yeah, he just goes out to check for her because she hasn't come inside yet. Oh, her name's Emma. Yeah, yeah Emma. God, she's a real fucking hoot to be around. Yep. He looking for her. He's he a... looks at the hand that's hanging right there. It's bloody and drippy. Definitely looks like what they have for decoration, but... It's hers. Oh, you can see her wedding band. Yeah, you can. Uh-oh. And then one of the ghosts lights up, and he goes to check on it. He pulls the sheet away. Yeah, because it's lighting up, and I think it's really weird. But yeah, he pulls <laughs> the sheet off, and what does he find? His, His wife. dead wife. With a lollipop stuffed in her mouth. Yep. Looking like a fucking fucked up version of Jesus. <laughs> uh, so yeah, now we get the opening credits, and it cuts to a lot of like comic book and uh, just illustrations from the movie. That you're gonna see later on. Woo! God, but this in, this movie is so fun. It's in comic book form, so I love that. I love this movie. It's and really we get fun. the uh, title card. Title card, trick or treat, tweet, tweet. Look at that little guy. He's so tiny. Oh, they actually give you his name right here in the credits. I didn't even notice that. Yeah. Cute little baby. I will protect this child with my life, and I don't say that very often about children. <laughs> Is so, it because yeah, this... I'm scared he'll kill me? Yes. Do I care? No. Look, is Sam only kills people who don't follow the rules of Halloween. Luckily, I do. Well, I try to. Well, you can't really give out candy, so that's like... <sighs> that's not my fault, though. That is not your fault. But, to be honest, if he came to the door, we would give him candy. Yes. Even if it's like, like... Oh my god, it's a trick-or-treater? Even if it's like some of our own supplies, we can just give him some candy. Exactly. He's a good boy. That reminds me, I need to buy us candy on <gasps> next week. Please! <laughs> I need to buy us candy Please. next week. Please! I want to get fat! <laughs> and uh, now we get someone dragging a I sack of candy. I hate the way that candy sack looks. It's fucking it's gross. It's so disgusting. Dude, pick it up! Um, God. But yeah, this kid is dragging this bag of candy and he's walking through the streets of Ohio. It looks like he's carrying a bag of shit. It does. <laughs> it's gross. Dude, you're gonna tear that sh that shit and your candy's just gonna end up all over the floor. That's also what I was like. It's gonna be nobody's fault but yours because you're too lazy to just pick up the sack. Yeah. Pick it up. It bugs the hell out of me. Yeah, we are getting uh, more credits during this little scene. It's very fun. It is very fun. And now we get Spook. the little indication that it's earlier in the day. I was fucking around with it. Earlier in the night. <laughs> We're, we always fuck around and say, oh, I hate Ohio. Everybody hates Ohio. But, like, just genuinely, this party looks really fun. We joke around, Ohio's not a real place. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry for anyone who listens to us and lives in Ohio. So you're, sorry, you guys. You don't exist. I'm sorry. You just, you're a figment of somebody's imagination. <laughs> so uh, we get this newcaster Ooh, who's reporting fuck. the whole entire thing. That was funny. 
And we cut back into a Halloween costume store. God, you're fucking shopping for costumes on Halloween. That fucking sucks. That's very last minute. Night, too. And we get this little kid in, like, a monkey costume. I think so. And he's peeking into the uh, changing rooms where the three girls, no, three, four girls are changing into their costumes. Yeah. He's also having a lollipop. I'm gay. God. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, they are talking about uh, the night's festivities that they're gonna do. They're gonna do like a party or something. Yeah, ladies, there are children out here. Shut up. <laughs> the child's mother and her. Maybe don't them. have your kid peek, you nasty witch. I mean, what? Fucking weird. Yeah, the girl dressed as Snow White. I fucking love her. Oh god, I can't remember the actress's name. I know her from Medea's Family Reunion. She's fucking great. So one's dressed as Snow White. Yeah. One's dressed as Little Bo Peep. Yes. Another one is dressed as Cinderella. Cinderella. And the last one is just as Little Red Riding Hood. Which is a very cute outfit. It's a very cute outfit. Um, I think I remember, like, some of my family members actually wearing that costume. Like, the Little Red Riding Hood costume in my family has been passed down for a couple of years yeah. to different people. The only thing I would do different with this costume, and this is only because I'm a, I, I'm a bitch with heels, I would wear, like, shorter heels or, like, high heel boots instead. I wouldn't even wear heels. I wear flats. You know what? You got me. They're talking about meeting the dates. <clears throat> or getting dates, actually. Yes. As the uh, girl who is dressed as Cinderella is getting a date from the cashier. Yeah. Telling him that there's going to be a party in the woods later on. Ooh. also think it's funny that she's just drinking out of a pink flask back there. I noticed that the last time and I thought it was funny. Oh, Little Buffy? Yeah. Yeah. I know the girl dressed as Snow White. Her name is Maria. Yeah. I literally only remember her name because she's the one that stands out to me. Because she's the only one I know. <laughs> like, oh, shit. Um, the one in the Red Riding Hood costume is Lori. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. So now we get the kid who's dragging the sack of candy around. He's, He's fucking smashing, smashing all the pumpkins. Let's smash your pumpkin head, kid. I mean, what? We do not condone violence against children. No, no, this is all jokes, I swear. This is really all jokes. We really do not condone that shit. No. <laughs> Don't harm children. That's fucking stupid. Yeah. This, this is just, for legal reasons, this is a joke. <laughs> These are all jokes. But yes, he goes up to a house and it has a take one piece of candy sign. And he takes the whole entire fucking little thing. Yeah. You could have just dumped out the whole thing in your bag. You exactly. Know that, right? uh, but the owner of the house comes back and it is... Principal Steve Wilkins. Yeah, uh... <laughs> Steven. I actually had a science teacher named Mr. Wilkins. He was really nice. He didn't look anything like this. He was very young. A lot of the girls in my go in my grade had a hu had huge crushes on him. I was like, you know he's a teacher, right? <laughs> oh, our... So we cut back to uh, the girls walking down the street. I am not gonna finish my thought because this movie's moving. <laughs> yeah, this movie moves, bro. So... <laughs> Oh, yeah, and I did tell you that in the background of this little scene right here, there's someone dressed as a Mexican. Yeah. I was like, wait, what? And you had to rewind it and show it to me. I thought it was funny. Yeah, there's yeah, someone there he goes. as a Mexican. <laughs> there you go. I never like these costumes, man. God. It made you laugh when you saw it, though. So I did. I mean... It did. Because I've seen it before. It makes me laugh, but I don't like these stupid costumes. It's um, admittedly really funny, though. Yeah. But yes, these girls are looking for dates. Oh, I am looking respectfully is what I'm doing. Shit! And two of them do find dates. They do! And then we cut back to the principal and the little shithead who was tossing the pumpkins. <laughs> you right. <laughs> um, and he gives them a candy. Yeah. Let's meet a candy. Also, I do have to say... Uh, because I was the only kid in my neighborhood that was trick or treating, there was someone up here, up on the hill, that would that said um, on the uh, they had a sign that said take one piece on one piece only. I was like, I'm literally the only kid who took, and I would take like a fucking handful because <laughs> I'm a little shit. But like, listen, I have a sweet tooth, okay? Yeah, but the thing is, you were pretty much like one of the only kids that would trick or treat. Yeah. So why I one piece? You have this. Bi it wasn't even a small bowl either. It's like one of those big like. Fucking fruit punch bowls that you can find. Oh, those kind? One of the or yeah, the orange ones with the pumpkins along the sides. Oh, yeah, one of those. Amazing. And it was like, oh, take one piece only, and it was like, fucking tootsie rolls and shit like that. Amazing. They're so tiny. I'm like, I'm not gonna take just what. Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> the 
That's a big ass move though. I can't I can't do that because in my neighborhood there was a bunch of kids who trick or treat. So That's fair. Yeah, and then <laughs> we would have those houses that would be like, Oh, just take one or take two, you know? Out of this big ass bowl. <laughs> yeah, but you do that with big ass candy bars like what this guy was doing. Yeah, they would do that with the big candy bars. Yeah, don't do that with fucking little Tootsie Rolls. Come on. No. Um, the thing is, like, we get so many different candies. Like, we get all the classic, like, American candies, but we also get a lot of Mexican candies. <gasps> I want to try some Mexican candy. So You'll bad. try some. Yes, bitch, please. I can ask Adam if he can ship us some. Adam, please! <laughs> can you send us some more mochi, too? That was so fucking good. If we, go back, if we ever go back to the mall, we can buy ourselves mochi. Yes! Um... But yeah, he's talking about him stealing candy while Mr. Wilkins is carving a pumpkin. A tiny face into the pumpkin he has with, with a, a big brand ass new, knife. Yeah, brand new knife because all of his were dull. And I, t- I looked at Kimberly I was like, why don't you just buy a knife sharpener, hello? Because we've got one in the kitchen and it's like one, it was like five bucks. <laughs> well. It works a treat. As uh, she found out and then you guys will find out later. You'll know why. <laughs> but yeah, he's just talking about uh, some traditions about Halloween. Yeah. Where his dad taught him about respecting the dead for Halloween. Yes. You know, because it's that one night of the year where spirits roam. Yeah. Which honestly, depending on what culture you were in, that is not true. <laughs> it just depends on the culture you're in. Yeah. This scene does make me really want some chocolate up until uh, here in a second. You'll see. Yeah. I kind of have to like be like, mm, mm-mm. <laughs> so this kid starts to not feel so good. He's coughing and gagging. Yeah. I, mm. How about you take this part? Okay, so, I... at least you don't have to hear it. Yeah. So he ends up vomiting profusely. Yeah. Normally I'd watch this, but at the moment I really don't want to. Yeah, no. Because I, it's, mm, I ate shortly before this, so I'm not gonna. So as Mr. Wilkins was talking about traditions and everything for Halloween, he's like, wait, I missed one. You always have to check your candy. Mm-hmm. So basically this person, Mr. Wilkins just fucking poisoned this kid's candy. Yeah. Or he's, he poisoned all of the candy that he had. Yeah. And this kid is just vomiting God, I can't look profusely. And he, he ends up just slumping over. On his lap? Yep, on his lap. Gross. It's very gross. The fact that he, like, opens a lollipop and actually starts to eat it. Right? <laughs> Clearly it's not his. But now Mr. Wilkins is dragging the little kid inside his house. And he's gotten his vomit on him. Which is all bloody and chocolatey and... Yeah, we were having this, like, debate. <laughs> this debate whether if it was just chocolate or if it was just blood. And I was telling Lexi, I was like, it's a combination of both. Like, you can tell yeah. that it is. Um, it's just the lighting of outside, because they're sitting on the front steps of this dude's porch. There's not much light outside. Yeah, it just looked like straight milk chocolate. Yeah. It looked like fucking Willy Wonka's river, is what it looked like. Yeah. Which is... Ugh. And then it's until after he drags him in and he opens the door for trick-or-treaters that you see on his shirt. It's blood. <laughs> yeah. And his shirt's all white. Dumbass. So you can tell that it's blood. But he's not a dumbass because it's Halloween. You got me there. You got me there. <laughs> you got me there. So yeah, he's able to Sam drag don't the like kid people inside. like you, dude. Mm-mm. Talk about all these traditions and then you do that. Hello? So he's able to do that. And the doorbell rings. Oh, no, there's a knock at the door. I like that he just casually spits out the lollipop he just had in his mouth. Yeah. He tries to, like, turn off the lights and be like, oh, no one's home. But they're, they're persistent little shits. They are banging on his door, and they're like, we know you're home. Yeah. They all scream because they see the blood on him, but they think it's a cool costume. Yeah. And he's able to give them candy, but she, the girl in the angel costume also asks... Him if uh she can take a jack o' lantern from him. Yeah, for a scavenger hunt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, huh. Sure, bitch. Oh, he also asks like, "You're not gonna smash it, are you?" And she's like, "No, it's a scavenger hunt. You know, for UNICEF." And the little boy in the pirate costume, he notices the trail of like vomit and blood. Yeah. 
But he doesn't do anything, so he just, like, walks off. They're Sam! He's scared of shit, though. I think it's funny. Mr. Wilkins offers Sam a uh, candy. So, yeah. And he gets the little chocolate bar. Woo! There he go. What a good kid. <laughs> Sam, you gotta pick up your bag, dude. It's gonna tear. Oh, God. Sorry, I just saw clear. Oh, Jesus. Okay, you gotta warn somebody. Fuck. <laughs> this is, like, the third time you've seen this movie. I know. <laughs> Still, pretty girl. Leave me alone. I don't blame you. (laughs) This is me with the fucking werewolf scene later. (laughs) No matter how many times I've seen this movie. You're like, oh, fuck. Yeah. So we we cut to the girls. How do you know you're a monster fucker? (laughs) We cut to the girls. And uh, all of them pretty much go into the van with, like, that news crew people that they uh, found. Except for one. Yes, except for one. And that's Lori, who was in the Little Red Riding Hood. Uh, costume, and mm-hmm. she's off to go find a date because she wasn't able to find one with the rest of them. I feel that. And um, if you aren't catching it right now, we are switching between a lot of scenes with characters. It makes a lot of sense when you watch it. Yes, it does. It does make a lot of sense when you watch it, and also with the fact that if you know that this movie is an anthology. Yes. So, we've, I forgot to like mention earlier is that. When we were watching the girls walk down the street of the parade, um, they bumped into two people, and those two people were the couple from the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. So. It all, it'll round up. You'll see. It'll all connect. But right now we see Mr. Wilkins going into his house. We got, uh, knife. Or, yeah, knife. He brought the knife back in. He's getting a blanket and a meat cleaver. What did he use the meat cleaver for? Did he ever use it? Yes. So now he's dragging a body out to his backyard. Lovely. I wonder who. I wonder who the fuck it is. Oh, wait. I think I remember what he used the beat cleaver for. <laughs> Never mind. My memory sucks. We just watched this the other day. I hate everything. I want to die. It's okay. <laughs> Billy! <laughs> now his son Billy is screaming at him, saying that he's back from trick-or-treating. It's always some kid named Billy. Yeah. Always. I'll say this every time there's a Billy in one of these. I'm sorry, guys. Take, take a shot every time I say it. There's always some bastard named Billy. Billy Wilkins. Billy Wilkins. William Wilkins. Really? <sighs> Amazing. Uh, but yeah. Mr. Wilkins is trying to hide a fucking body in his backyard. Clearly you more than tell. one. Yes. More than one because he took the tarp off of the little grave thing that he had dug. And he's trying to make his son go away so he doesn't see it. Yeah. Um, Even though... Never mind. I was getting ready to say (laughs) it. So he doesn't see it. Uh, (laughs) But (laughs) this little kid is so annoying and it's so funny that you can can just see it in his dad's face. That he's just like, please shut the fuck up. (laughs) (laughs) Honestly, that was me the first time we saw this too because I was like, oh my god. Please. <laughs> Shut well, up. he's supposed to be annoying. I know. That's the point. But <laughs> and that the, is the geez. whole point. Um I So even, he's he's I saying even... that he wants to carve pumpkins. He wants to carve a jack o' lantern. I even wrote down so many billies in these movies. <laughs> yeah. He wants to carve a jack o' lantern with his dad and then his dad is saying that he has to go to uh no that he has a date. Yeah. That he has a date at the Halloween parade. And his son's like, can I go with you? And he's like, no. Because it's going to be past your bedtime. Um, but he does say that he will help him with the pumpkin. When mm-hmm. he's done with what he's doing in the backyard. Lovely. <laughs> and all is well and good until Billy comes back to the window and says, you Remember, remember <laughs> to help me with the eyes. Hee <laughs> hee. And it's just, this little kid is so fucking annoying. Uh, It's always little redheads. I'm kidding. This is a joke. I promise. It's a joke. Is he even a redhead? I thought he was a blonde. No, he's he's redhead. He's redhead. You'll see. Oh, okay. He's ginger as fuck. To me, he always looked like a blonde, but I think it was just the lighting. Yeah, no, he's ginger. Yeah. He's got curly ginger hair. Yeah, I think it was just the lighting and some... And we got a good boy barking at Mr. Wilkins. We got a doggie. He said, boof. He's almost halfway into, <laughs> into his yard. <laughs> oh. So, oh, you know what that dog looks like? Hmm. Do you remember the show Wishbone? No. You don't know the, the show Wishbone? No. Oh my god, he looks just like that dog. So Wilkins 
chops off a finger with his shovel and throws it so the dog will get distracted. He gets a munch. Yep. <laughs> and then his neighbor comes out and he's wondering what the fuck his dog is. I think it's so fucking funny. Yeah. But yeah, one of one of the bodies he has starts moving in the grave and he starts stomping on it. Stomp. And his neighbor notices Mr. Krieg. Uh, he notices he notices the sounds and he looks through the little hole in the fence and he's wondering why the fuck his neighbor is just hiding. Are you hiding bodies? In a hole. <laughs> he does jokingly ask that if he's yeah. hiding bodies. And Wilkins is like, ah, septic's acting up. Yeah. And then Krieg is like, stinks like a dead whore out here. I'm like, shit, yeah. okay. How do you know what a dead whore smells like? Huh? Huh? He's an old man. <laughs> Damn. Oh, yeah, but Mr. Krieg is an asshole. So happy Halloween. Screw you. Yeah. Well, fuck me, I guess. Okay. Yeah, he's ginger. Oh, okay, now I see it. <laughs> it always looked blonde to me. I can see where you'd think it looks blonde, but I think he's ginger. Well, now I'm starting to question myself. Fuck. No, he looks ginger. I fucking, I can't tell. Dirty blonde. Fuck we'll, it. We'll, we'll get a close-up soon. Or strawberry blonde. There. That's perfect. <laughs> Probably more strawberry blonde. Yeah. But yeah, when we get the close-up with him, we'll... Yeah. <laughs> I love how we just kept talking about the kid's hair. Um. <laughs> <laughs> We're just like, we can't tell. <laughs> we just can't tell right now. It's okay, we will tell in a minute. But yeah, Mr. Wilkins is gonna get ready to fucking pound his body with a goddamn shovel. There we go. Nice. Ew. Fucking gnome bastard. That's clever, though. I mean, you got a good fertilizer for your tree. Well, you're not wrong. Also, this dude is mocking his kid. <laughs> I don't like... Uh, uh, mm, I don't like it. <laughs> well, Phantom's yelling at my window. Well, oh. So we get Mr. Krieg... <laughs> Pounding on his window, asking help for me. Wilkins to help. And help. Wilkins is just like, screw you. And he goes inside. It gets tackled. <laughs> and Mr. Creek gets tackled by Sam. Oh my god. I always thought it was so fucking funny. This uh, is this little kid, man. Yeah. Tackling well, this old man. Mr. Wilkins is inside looking for his son, Billy. <laughs> and there he's, he is. He's about to get the knife. And then he gets scared by his son who pops out. Oh, maybe his hair is blonde. It looks ginger from certain angles. It's a strawberry blonde. That's what strawberry uh, blonde looks like. Strawberry blonde. Yeah, that's strawberry blonde. Dark strawberry blonde. Yeah. But, like, it's strawberry blonde because there's definitely hints of ginger in there. Yeah, because I'm like, it's not brown at all. No. It looks more blonde than anything. Yeah, it's ginger and blonde, it looks like. I only, and I only know what strawberry blonde looks like because Aunt Kitty has strawberry blonde hair. Mm-hmm. So yeah, now they're going down to the basement because they're going to carve a jack-o'-lantern. Oh yeah, for sure. He is, the kid is so fucking excited. The first time I saw this, I thought this guy straight up killed his kid. <laughs> I was like, oh my god! Yeah, because he has the knife behind him and he's literally like holding his son's head like really steady. Yeah. And he looks like he's about to plunge the knife into his son's skull. We have a cat. We have a cat now. I'm so sorry. We had to bring him inside. Um, but yeah, as we were saying, <laughs> the, uh, the knife looks like it's about to plunge into I, the yeah, little kid's I thought, head. I thought he straight up plunged it into his fucking temple. Yeah, same here. I was like, what? It was either the temple or the eye socket. Like, the first time I saw this, I thought he would do it, but no. Um, so he stabs into something else as we see. And, um... <clears throat> The kid's totally fine. Yeah. The kid's completely fine. Yeah. He's very happy. He's very excited. And as we see Mr. Wilkins turning what is on the table around, so now it's facing them, it turns out he cut the head off of the kid from earlier. Fun. And that's what they're going to carve. Fun. Don't you just love bonding with your parents like this? Yeah, oh yeah, quality time. Quality time with your parents. Uh, so now we cut to the trick-or-treaters. Three trick-or-treaters, and we have an angel, a pirate, and... What is he other one? Uh, I don't know. We'll see you in a second. I, 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 I feel... What is the other one? Hold up. I don't know. If you hear the cat purring, deal with it. He's just here. He's here. He's licking his belly. Is she an alien or something? I, I don't know. So the prosthetic have... head. It's a really good one. That's really creepy looking. 
I couldn't. I can't tell if it's prosthetic or if it's like CG. I'm assuming it's prosthetic though. Yeah, it's an alien. It's an alien. Okay, yeah, that's cool. <laughs> they knock on their another teacher's door, I guess, and it's clearly a swingers party. <laughs> oh yeah, it's it's definitely a swingers party. So this is Miss Mrs. or Miss Henderson. Miss Henderson. Uh, She's dressed as a cat. Big little kitty. And she asks them if they want anything to drink, like alcohol. <laughs> and one of them's like, yeah, sure. Uh, but the main one's like, no. Yeah, Mrs. Henderson. Yeah. Uh, she, uh, well, the kids just want a, a fucking pumpkin. They just want a pumpkin. Oh, boy. But yeah, they get candy, and they look into the house, and it's very fucking weird. I think they're just dancing, but uh, out of context, it looks like something else. Yeah, it does. <laughs> And this uh, other kid comes up to them with a cart, and I think it has one or two pumpkins. It's got, like, three or four, I think. Mm. It has some pumpkins in there. Yep, there's three. Okay. One of them's plastic. Yeah, three. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes. Hi, sweetie. Also, the new kid that's with him, he has a skull mask. Yeah, you'll know him from uh, 16 Witches from Animal... Or Animal Planet. <laughs> from Disney Channel. Why did I say Animal Planet? I'm a fucking dumbass. And they arrive to uh, Rhonda's house. Rhonda. This other kid that they are meeting up with. And her house is covered with jack-o'-lanterns. She carved them all herself. Everywhere. There's tons. I love There's them. so many. It's covering her whole front yard. And like... The front of her house. Mm -hmm. So many. All so we're hanging of them. From trees too. Yeah. Dude, I want to hang out at this house. It's cool. Me too. Rhonda's just sweet. I like her a lot. She is. She's adorable. I. She's one of my favorite characters. I'll protect her with my life. Same. Hey, baby. Says hello. <laughs> Little red. So yes. Who's what's his name? Schrader. Schrader's a nice dude. For for the most part. For the most part, he is a nice dude. And basically, it is the. Other three. You you can you can tell that she likes him. Yeah. You can tell that she likes him. And he's he's being really nice and respectful. Yeah. Because um she asks uh no, he asks if uh she made her costume and she's like, Yeah, because she, so she did pumpkins. make her costume oh, and all the pumpkins. fucking pumpkins. There was pumpkins lined up in the windows too. Damn, that's impressive. Oh that's so, so many. Good. But yeah, it's a cute little thing between kids right now. And then we cut to the Halloween parade, and we're going through the alleyway. There's people making out and kissing each other's necks and shit. Definitely getting ready to fuck in the alleyway. Oh, yeah. That's hot. I mean, what? <laughs> I'm kidding. This is a joke. Kind of. Is it? Yes. It's a joke. Also, she looks familiar. I don't know where she's from. I swear, she looks like somebody from the show Lucifer. She looks like um the girl who plays Eve. A little bit. Except her face real bleh, The facial structure is a little bit different. Her um, hair just reminds me of her. But yeah, we get a couple just making out in the alleyway. Filling each other up. Yeah. Until, um... Something goes up. Something goes wrong. Uh, yeah. He bites her neck. And she's fucking bleeding. I don't know how she didn't notice that until it started dripping down her arm. I feel like I would have noticed that, like, immediately. Um, sometimes when you're just in that state of mind, you don't really notice anything. That's bad. I can't say anything. I'm a fucking virgin. <laughs> I don't know this shit, bro. I can't say shit either, so am I. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Um, but it's like, it's just psychology and science. You're like, oh, God. It's like just psychology and science where- And then you see the blood, you're like, oh, God! Yeah, you're in that state of mind where you're feeling really good. You're not going to notice anything else. That's fair. Because you your here. your mind is just like on one track right there, yeah. until you physically see it, yeah. and then you're just like, oh, it's like it, it's like when you notice you have like a cut or you notice you have a bruise and then it starts hurting because yeah, you finally notice it. That's what that is. Gotcha. So yeah. Gotcha. Gotcha. So also like for people who are just like, how does she not feel and bite him? What if she's into that? You don't know. That's true. You don't know that. the bite pretty hard to bleed. Holy shit. Uh, yeah, but also, again, it is that state of yeah. mind. Where it's like you're not really, you know, there yeah. fully. Also, she might be to fucking intoxicated. So she might be a little numb to it. Yeah. So this masked dude is basically a vampire. Yeah. Pretty much a vampire. 
He's got the fangs. So we get a little uh, homage to I know you did last summer, summer, where Helen's running into the parade. Um, <laughs> but in this case, except this girly pop doesn't look behind her. No. But also, it's just in this case, this girl was able to make it out to the parade and people and try just to get she help. Was drunk. Yeah, people thought she was just one of the drunks because when she turns around, a lot of the drunks are just by, like, a barrel with fire, and they look exactly like her, covered mm-hmm. in, like, fake blood and everything. Um, but she's able to, like, get two people's attention, which is the couple from the beginning. Yes. Emma um, and Henry. Yes. So, she tries to get help. They don't believe her because she looks like one of the fucking drunks. Yes. And it's sad because she's, she yeah, she's not able to get help. She is... I feel like even if a drunk is asking for help, you should probably try to help. Yeah, but the thing, the, the thing is, it's Halloween. You don't know what's an act or not. Yeah, that's true. Ugh, God, that fucking sucks, dude. Yeah, you don't know what is an act or not on a Halloween night. <laughs> it's the per- Halloween night is the perfect time to commit a crime. We're not saying do that, do not do that. Do not do that. We don't condone that shit. No. Um but it sadly is like one of the perfect nights to do this. Yeah, because you just you don't know if it's fake or not. Is the thing. Hey, Red. And for people who are who will say like, "Oh, like I'd be able to tell." No, you won't. No, you won't. No, you won't. Cuz there have been a lot of cases where it's like People have seen Halloween decorations thinking they're Halloween decorations, but they're actual, real, dead people. That's really fucking scary, bro. Yeah, that's it. Anyway, moving on. We're gonna I'm, get a little bit dark here. <laughs> it's a fucking horror movie. Of course you're gonna get dark. Well, yeah. But yeah, no, she's not able to fucking escape because he's able to <laughs> catch up to her. And she did. Yep. And he just leaves her there. Closes her eyes and leaves her on the side of the road. Like she's just uh, passed out drunk no one will know until tomorrow nope you imagine the day after this that dude's gonna feel real fucking guilty because her face is gonna be on the news oh yeah congratulations guy yeah henry yeah he's gonna feel real fucking bad yeah so the masked dude is just walking off into the crowd and now we cut to the kids and they're walking through the uh forest down to the quarry yeah an abandoned quarry Mm mm-hmm i actually quite like the kid in the pirate outfit he seems like same here he seems like he like like not like like Rhonda. he's fascinated by her yeah like he he does think that yeah she is a little weird but he can pretty much get past it yeah it's just kids yeah because he's the youngest of the group clearly yeah but he's like he's really friendly with her yeah and i think they would have gotten along but as kids are, they always tend to follow at least one person in the group, and that person in the group is, what, Macy, right? Yeah, and it's always the person dressed as a fucking angel. <laughs> yeah. Always. Always, always. So there's this little... It's a drop-off. Yeah, it's a drop-off. It's not little. No, that that's not what I was referring to. <laughs> I meant, like, that little elevator thing that they go on. Oh, no, uh, yeah, no, her name, her name is Macy. You're, 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 yeah. So yeah, everyone is like, why are we here? Yeah. And this is where we get the story of the school bus massacre. Oh, yeah. And it is... It's a fucked up story. It is very fucked up. It's very sad. This is what Adam was referencing in... It's either already been out or in an upcoming episode. It's gonna be an upcoming episode. Yeah. But yeah. Uh, Macy starts telling the story and it transitions. Um, And we get the shot of a bus driver who's taking these kids home or so they think and each of these kids have like physical disabilities physical or mental yeah physical and mental physical and mental sometimes and mental yeah 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 Yeah. so uh, it's really fucking sad yeah because this is around the time where parents did not know how to basically take care of their children with disabilities and it's at the time where they just saw them as a burden and when they couldn't take it anymore they basically bribed the school bus driver to take them and 
drive the bus. Uh, n- <laughs> he wasn't supposed to drive the bus into the quarry. No. Um, he was just... <sighs> He was just supposed to get rid of them in any way. Yeah. And for context, this is this story happened 30 years ago. Yeah. And this came out in uh, 2007. Seven. So that would be 1977. Right? Yeah. yeah. 1977. So yeah, that tracks. Yeah, it kind of does, and it's really fucking sad. Yeah. Um, and it's... <sighs> Each of these kids, it's, it's so hard to see, because, like, I, I used to be in, like... Uh, special ed classes, and I would see these type of kids in those classes. Yeah, yeah. There's eight kids on this bus, by the way. Yeah. So again, these parents did not know what to do with their kids, and they basically paid the bus driver to just get rid of them. And it's sad because they are on their way home, Halloween day, and each of them have has costumes on. Yeah. And I think it's the one in, like, the... The vampire one. Yeah, the in the vampire costume. Where he's the one that notices first. Yeah. That they're going the wrong way. Because he keeps repeating that it's the, it's wrong, the wrong way. way. Wrong way. Yeah. Wrong way. Because he, as you see, like, the numbers, he starts saying numbers, and those are addresses. And he knows his address number. Mm. So when they turn, and he's like, wait, we're going the wrong way, he starts to get really agitated and nervous, and starts to panic. Yeah. So as they're turning, that happens, and, um, we do get a glimpse of Sam. Oh, did we? Where? Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. He, he, I thought it was more subtle than that. So we're assuming that, no, we'll get to it when I, when we get to the end of the story, actually. Yeah. Please don't let me forget. Hmm. So, yeah, the bus driver drives all the way to this rock quarry. Mm-hmm. If you're an ableist pig, we don't want you here, by the way. No. As someone who grew up with a disability, no. Fuck off. Yeah, no. Get out of here! So, he drove to this very same rock quarry that the children are at right now. Yes. And he stops the bus and he checks all of their chains that they are buckled into. Yeah. And... As he checks them, he gives them a piece of candy. Yes. These, uh, a lot of these kids don't really know any better. Mm-hmm. They don't really understand what's going on, except for, like, the vampire. Yeah. Except for the kid in the vampire mask. He senses something wrong. And usually, a lot of the times, these type of kids, they can sense, like, stronger emotions and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. Um... So this uh, vampire kid, he's able to get free from his restraints. And while the bus driver is in the back, (coughs) sorry, and while the bus driver is in the back um, giving the last of the kids a piece of candy, that little kid runs to the front of the bus and starts driving. And obviously this kid does not know how to drive. No. And it's sad (laughs) But he basically drives the bus into the quarry. Yeah. And And only the bus driver is able to escape. Yeah. And it's all because he just, he just wants to go home. Yeah. Because all these kids, um, are chained to the seats. Yeah. It's not even seatbelts. They're chained to the seats. No, that, they are. That's what I said. Like, they're, they are chained up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, this kid does not know how to drive, drives them all into the quarry where, they all, all drown. sadly drowned. Um, again, except for the bus driver, he was able to get out, and no one knows what happened to him. Nope, at all. He just basically vanished. Yeah, it's it's sad because the the visuals you you see like all the their masks like and pumpkins float up. floating up and everything. Yeah, this is this is a really sad. This, this this part is the only real like bummer part of the entire movie. Yeah. So as we see, we see the bus driver. I guess he uh, escaped, mm-hmm. but again, we don't. No one knows. No one knows what happened to him. So yeah, as Mason concludes, they say that the bus uh, sank all the way down to the bottom, or like down deep enough to where they were not able to find it. Yeah. So as they gather all these jack o' lanterns, those jack o' lanterns are basically offerings for these spirits. Yeah. For these kids. And you might think, like, oh, that's really fucking sweet. 
That's really sweet of him, you know. I like, never assumed it was anything sweet. Look at this bitch. Uh, yeah, no. If you if you see this movie and you like know this character Macy, <laughs> if you know her type and you watch this for the first time, you're already like, I don't like this girl. You are right. You're 100 percent correct. Because I saw her, I was like, mm, this seems like a bitch. Okay. Yeah, she is. <sighs> So they uh, get the little elevator operated because they are taking these down there. Yeah, they've got the keys to operate the elevator. So only three of them, and it's uh, Macy, the other girl, Sarah, Sarah, and what's his name again? Uh, Schrader. Schrader. And Schrader compliments Rhonda on one of her pumpkins because it's very pretty. He's just being a nice dude. Yeah. Up until, you can tell he doesn't want to do this. Look at this. <laughs> you can tell that none of them really want to do this. Except for Macy, because she's sick in the head. Macy is the bully. Yeah. Of course she is. What? I have to genuinely ask, what do people like this get out of torturing people like this? Entertainment. Other than that. It's entertainment and self-satisfactory. For what reason? You just traumatized somebody. That's all you fucking did. Because I think it's fun. You know what? I hope you have the day you deserve. <laughs> oh, we so, come yeah. back to Lori. I forgot about Lori. She's so beady. Yeah, we come back to Lori because she's looking for a date still. Damn, who wouldn't, though? Look at her. She's looking around, too. She's wondering. Mm -hmm. um, oh, I just saw that dude behind her. There he is. I never noticed that. Oh, the... The mask guy. Look at that. Oh, my God, I never noticed that. I'm usually pretty good at spotting shit like that, but I never noticed until just now. That's creepy. The vampire dude behind her? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, also, yeah, she's sitting on a bench. We get Emma and Henry passing by again. Yep. And the one in the mask is still looking at her, which is really fucking creepy. Yeah, very, very creepy. So she gets a call from her sister. She gets a call from her sister asking where she is and if she found anyone, and since she hasn't... Um, she's saying that she found someone for her, and she's asking, like, Is he is young? He, is he cute? Is he cute, right? And it's a dude dressed as a baby. <sighs> yeah, I mean, weird. her sister's like, well, he's nice, and he, she's like, so he's, he's ugly. He's hideous. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's basically it. Um, but she's just like, you just, like, come here, you know, like, beggars can't be choosers type of situation. And then we cut back to the kids again at the quarry. Spooky. Do you have any preference on when they filmed this, by the way? Or is that gonna be for the end? What? Do you know when, what time of year they filmed this? Uh, no, but I can look that up. Okay. Just curious. Yeah. Because, I mean, we, we could see their breath. I can only assume it was actually cold out. So the kids are going down in the elevator. Uh, Rhonda and the little dude in the pirate outfit... And the other three are at the bottom of the quarry screaming help and shit like that. And the dude in the pirate outfit's freaking out. And Rhonda is like, she's very good in stressful situations like this. As long as it's not affecting her, I think. Yeah. Hey, you, you baby. He's got his head all up against your knee. Mm. Hi. Sweet boy. Oh. <laughs> So Rhonda takes initiative and tells the little pirate dude to stay in the elevator and to keep the jack-o'-lanterns lit and they'll protect him. Just don't let the candles go out and they'll protect him. Which is really sweet. Rhonda's really sweet. I just like Rhonda a lot. Hey, babe. My cat's getting belly rubbed so he's loving and he's purring. It's so cute. Um... So, yeah, she's walking around the quarry. It's really foggy. Oh, yeah. She's looking for the other three kids. Yeah. <laughs> You're gonna fall off the bed, dude. Oh, my goodness. You got spooked. I hope all that purring is being picked up on the mic. If it's not, I'm gonna be real sad. I don't know. It's okay. Rhonda wanders further to the edge of the lake in the quarry and finds the bus that was actually part of the story, which is fucked up. And finds uh, a mask and some feathers from uh, Macy's costume that has blood on him, I think, it looks like. So now, Rhonda has been jump scared and is going to be chased by some creatures. Zombies. Zombies. 
and one is munching on pirate kid's intestines. She dropped her glasses, they get stepped on. Oh no, yeah, she she drops her glasses and she fucking falls hard. Yep, and like knocks herself out. Yeah. She's okay, but she knocks herself out. So they, the three zombies, quote unquote, gather around her. They're really worried about her. Well, at least one of them is. Yeah, because they're wondering like if she's dead or not, and she fucking screams. Because they're still wearing the masks and yeah. all up in her face. Until Schrader says her name. And she turns around. She she can't hardly see anything. She's got her. She doesn't have glasses anymore. Yeah, but she's tra- traumatized. She's traumatized as hell. And Schrader's like, it's okay. It's just a trick. It was a it was a joke. It was a bad joke. Yeah, Macy's being being a real fucking bitch. Of course she is. Look at the little pirate dudes worried about her too. God, Schrader and the pirate dude are the only ones I'm like, damn. Yeah, honestly, Schrader and the little pirate kid did not deserve anything they got after this. No, because they were just following yeah. Macy. I mean, they, yeah, they're little shits because they went through with it, but genuinely, I don't think they deserved what they got. No. Sarah doesn't look like she wanted to be part of it either, though. No. The only one who had it coming was Macy. Let's be real. Yeah. It's fucking sad. Um, I know his name's Chip. That's what. That's oh, what his name Chip. was. Chip. Okay. Pirate dude's Chip. Chip, Sarah, Macy. Schrader. Schrader. And Rhonda. Rhonda. I always just call them by their costumes. That's fair. Yeah. And now there's suddenly ghost whispering and laughter. <gasps> Children's laughter. And Macy's blaming it on Chip because of course she is. Well, because probably kids are kids. They fucking, like, think of other things to do, you know? I wish they'd But it is not. <laughs> it is not them. And so we hear the three of them fucking screaming, and they're running. Towing the other two. Mm-hmm. To fucking run. Because something run. is after them. And as it turns out... It's the, the kids from the story. Woo! Get wrecked. Zombies. Zombies! Zombies. Which is sad. It's very sad. So yeah, as they're running back to the elevator, they can't get in. Of course Because not. Rhonda has locked them out, and she is on her way up. Yep, she's holding a jack-o'-lantern in her lap. That's still lit. That's still lit. She's being protected. She is being protected. They're pretty much fucking begging her to open the elevator. Yep. Sarah got picked off. Sarah's Sarah. the first one to go. F. But yeah, Rhonda just fucking waves at them. Mm-hmm. Like, bye. As she goes up. And I think it's... It's funny. It's what she fucking deserves. As she should. As she fucking should. She's not gonna listen to Macy. No, she's not gonna listen to Macy. So yeah, she goes like she's gonna open the door, but she actually pushes a button so she can start the elevator to go up. Mm-hmm. They get left. Yep. Bye. And then as she gets up there, all you hear are their screams. Yup. You're gonna fuck around and you're gonna find out. I'm sorry. They fucked around and found out. That is instant karma. Yeah. Yeah. Sam notices her and does not bug her. Does not do anything to her because she actually follows the rules. Her jack-o'-lantern stole it. Yup. I kind of wish that they would actually interact with each other a little bit. Same. Like, I wish that they would, like... She would give him, like, some candy or something, which I think would be cute. Oh, if only. But now we cut back to Lori. It's my wife. No. <laughs> <laughs> we cut back to Lori, who's walking down a jack-o'-lantern lit path. Yeah. It looked like these were in a circle, the way the camera was angled, but it's yeah. just a path. It's a path. Uh, at this. first, it does look like a circle, though. It looked like a fairy ring of uh, pumpkins. <laughs> Wouldn't want to stand in the middle of that. Shoot, I would. It's pumpkins, not mushrooms. What could? What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> I'm gonna trip over the pumpkins. Oh. I'm gonna get kidnapped. <laughs> get kidnapped by fairies. But yeah, she hears something. She's like, she looks around and then turns back around, and mass vampire dude is there. Yep. And scares her. And so we get to the party in the woods. Yep. Um, <laughs> one of the girls is offering the other one a drink, which is Lori's sister. Mm-hmm. She says no, and they're wondering where she is. Like, they're worried about her. Yeah, because they're hoping that she's okay. And this fucking masked dude is just being really fucking creepy. Like, really fucking creepy. What big eyes you have. 
licking her neck and biting her. As it looks like. Yes. By the way, guys, this movie's very erotic. <laughs> in some spots. Yes. Dude, that ba- you know what that baby looks like? Mm. Nikocado avocado. Stop! <laughs> <laughs> Am I wrong? Don't do that to that man. <laughs> Don't compare him to him. <laughs> Don't compare this fucking dude to Nick. Don't do that shit. <laughs> I had to do it. The comparison was right there. It's a big man, baby. Leave me alone. I hate that you're right, but like, no. Don't disrespect that man. <laughs> um. So now... A body has just landed. (laughs) Fell out of the tree. Yep. I love this dude over here just dressed as a big old teddy bear. Have you seen those videos of people cutting out, like, their big teddy bear? Like, the stuffing and they go inside it? That's just so funny. (laughs) It's always, like, on Christmas or some shit. I always love that because it's fucking hilarious. It's very funny. But, yeah, everyone thinks it's Lori because the body's wrapped wrapped around her cape. cape. Yeah. Um, but as they lift up the hood, they find out that it is the, the vampire the dude. Yeah. yeah, they're like really worried that it's Lori at first. Yep, but it's not. No, uh, the the my man's just got got. The dude's just fucking terrified. Help me. <laughs> yeah, please help me, dude. You've been creepy all night. You are not gonna get help. No, but Lori comes out, and everyone is looking at her. So yeah, Lori's sister's like, you're late. He bit her. Oh yeah, they told her to play hard to get earlier. And yep. then she got bit for it. Well, that's how it goes. Yeah. You know who he looks like with that mask? Hmm. He looks like one of the wrestlers. He looks like the wrestler from Scooby-Doo. The <laughs> live action. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, Maria. Uh-huh. She starts pulling out the, the vampire's teeth. And they're fake. They're fake. They're fake vampire teeth. And we find out it's Mr. Wilkins, because she takes his mask off. Yep. You know what? If she called me honey, I'd probably become unglued right there on the spot. Same. But yeah, it's Stephen Wilkins. Oh, God, she's pretty. <laughs> but yeah, Maria tells him that, like... She's glad he's her first, because she likes him. Yes. We're like, huh? And he's like, well, what the hell does that mean? And know, as you look around... Dead people. Yeah. All their dates. All their dates are dead, pretty much. With their throats torn out. Mm-hmm. The hot dog. I know, right? That's the dude that was in the swingers party. Yeah. Which I think is really funny. Mm-hmm. And, uh, well, as he's screaming... He's got a compound fracture in his leg. Yeah. Which, if you don't know, is when your leg breaks to the point where the bone is sticking out of your leg. Yeah. Or the just sticking out of the skin. You know what I mean. It can, you have a compound fracture anywhere. And Marilyn mm-hmm. Mantis cover of Sweet Dreams starts playing during this super just... It's a... To put it simply, it's, it's a orgy. werewolf... It's a... It's a... It's a... Yeah, it's a orgy. It's a werewolf orgy. Is it as weird as it sounds? Yes. Yeah. It's still very fun to watch. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, so pretty much, it's just all these werewolves fucking transforming right now. Yes. It's hot, bro. <laughs> no, you're right. It is. Um. So... <laughs> It's it's really hot because they're, like, just stripping. I'm like, help me. I need an adult. They're stripping all their clothes, and then they strip off their skin. Yeah. Like if they're stripping off clothes. Yeah. Just like if they're stripping off clothes. Which, technically, yes, they are. And also, <laughs> when we watched this, I was like, oh, that must feel like taking off a wig. Yeah. Because, <laughs> like, taking off a wig after a long day, if you have worn wigs, anyone who has ever worn wigs, mm-hmm. that shit feels so so good after taking it off and you're just like oh fuck yeah i also really like the effects they have for their eyes oh yeah same they're so cool so i have a ton of fun facts and i cannot wait to uh <laughs> i can't stop staring <laughs> to I'm tell sorry. you guys these but yeah i <sighs> um you see the pretty ladies but yeah so as they were alluding to her first time this is her First time. Transforming. Yes. So, yeah, yeah, this is her first time transforming and first time ever having her her actual, like, victim? I think so, yeah. Right. I also love how he said what big eyes you have earlier, and it 
it basically he, he echoes was it. Basi- yeah, he was basically being racist. Also, Sam's yeah. watching the entire thing. Cover this boy's eyes. He's still young, but as shit. He's a child. Oh God, can that be the whole movie? That scene <clears> right there, please. I so love yeah. it. I love it. We so get much. a little, we get a little tag saying that's earlier in the night. Mm-hmm. That house is cool looking. I love it. It is. So now we are at uh, Krieg's Mr. house. Krieg's house. And we see these three trick or treaters. I think they're all clowns, right? Uh, I think so. I'm not sure. I know at least one person's a clown. I didn't see the other two though. Yeah, they're going out to Mr. Krieg's house for trick or treat. Tweet a tweet. But well, like, would you go up to a house even if they have like no lights yeah, on or clowns. anything? Uh, depends. Is there candy on the on the front step? No, like this. <laughs> then no. Yeah, these kids go up to the. The door. And he has a shit ton of locks. Yeah. Mm, so yeah. They are all clowns. And as the door unlocks... You better be clowned on. <clears throat> the door opens. There's nobody there. A breeze flows out. And all they see is glowing eyes. They see Twicka Tweet. Is that glowing eyes? Yeah. And growling, too. Oh, yeah. They get so spooked that they start running. <laughs> oh, yeah. It runs at them. It's just a dog. It's just a tiny dog. It's just a tiny dog wearing a costume made to scare kids away, which I think is really funny and really smart. One thing about Mr. Krieg, he loves his dog. Yeah. He loves his dog. He's a good dog. <clears throat> he loves his dog. I love his dog. I would protect his dog with my life. Yes, I would. Hell yeah. I like so that he basically, just, he just takes the fucking candy bag. Yeah, because they fucking dropped their candy bags and fucking booked it. That sucks, dude. So yeah, Mr. Creek has a ton of photos that he's burning in his fireplace. We'll find out what those are later. (laughs) He has a box full of stuff, and he's just burning it at his fireplace. I just remembered we're getting a sequel to this fucking movie. Oh my god. I'm so excited. (laughs) I'm so excited, bro. It's so cute. He takes off the dog's costume. Yay, good boy. His collar got all written up, but it's okay. He fixed it. There he goes. He's a good boy. He's a good boy. So he looks through the candies, and he finds a chocolate bar. But the thing is, he's just, he's like, nah. He doesn't like chocolate bars that much, I guess. He doesn't like the nougat. Do you not like the nougat? It's okay. It looks like it's just got nougat in it. Yeah. He probably doesn't. Which sucks. I do. Dude, nougat is so good. It's like, it's like Three Musketeers. Oh, God. I love Three Musketeers. Underrated candy. I like Three Musketeers. Oh, yeah. But he's uh, flipping through the channels and everything was about Halloween. And then he just goes back to the same channel that he had before, which was just, like, an infomercial about, like, some cooking device or whatever. Yeah, it's like horror movies. One notable movie is Scooby-Doo on Zombie Island. And I'm like, no, you don't even have to. It's not even Halloween related. You just watch that. It's a scary movie. But, I mean, still, it's cool. (laughs) Back to the cooking channel. To be fair, though, cooking channels are fun to watch, too. Yeah, cooking channels are fun to watch. I used to watch it, like, a lot. Yeah, he's lucky there wasn't a Halloween-related cooking show going on right now. I know, right? But yeah, as you can see, this Mr. Creek does not like Halloween. No. He despises Halloween. I wonder why. We'll find out. Yeah, his dog's is growling. Is he a bird? a bird back there? He's got a bird cage. Maybe a bird. Maybe, a bird? He, maybe, maybe he, bird? he did. But yeah, he hears a noise on his gate. Was open. Ah, oh, his house got egged. Mm-hmm. Was that Sam? Did Sam just egg his house? That wasn't Sam, was it? I, it I looked, didn't catch that. It looked like Sam. You want to back it up a little bit? I think that'd be funny as hell. You got egged. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep an eye out for it for you. It was Sam. Oh, it was. <laughs> wow. Sam's a little trickster too. Damn. He he yeeted that egg. It broke his window. Sam, you're going to have to replace that. Do you have pocket money? He's like, I don't have to replace anything. Sam, killing focus is one thing. Property damage is another. No. <laughs> Legal reasons. This is a joke. This is a joke. I promise. <laughs> but yeah, he goes out looking for his dog. Mr. Creek goes out looking for his dog because he's just like, where the fuck did my dog go? He's outside. He's outside now in the yard. And he's eating the finger. That, oh, yeah, um, from earlier. Yes, from earlier. So I've seen his, his dog be called two names. It's either Spike or Spite. But I'm not sure which. I feel like it's Spike. Spike. But at some points, he says it like it's Spike. Yeah. The subtitles get confused. Yeah. We have subtitles on. <laughs> As if you couldn't tell. <laughs> so, yeah. It's it's just a repeat of the earlier scene, but it's now Mr. Krieg's uh, point, point of, of view, view instead of Steven's. 
which is going to be fun. Yes. This is a very fun anthology. It's a very good anthology. I love it. Mm -hmm. Someone's peeking at Krieg. Yes, we get a repeat of earlier where he goes inside the house and uh, (laughs) Wilkins is like, happy Halloween. Krieg's like, screw you. Yeah. God, he reminds me of my dad. Ew. A little bit. My dad wasn't, isn't grumpy like this. Wasn't. He's not dead, I swear. (laughs) But uh, for some reason, he gives me my dad's vibes. I don't know why. That's probably not a good thing. So, he hears his dog barking at the front door. He immediately runs out because he thinks there's kids outside. He's about to go tell them to get off of his yard. Instead, he finds a shit ton of pumpkins. Get off my lawn! Out on his yard and porch. And when he's about to... Oh my god, they're everywhere! There's a shit ton. There's so many. I love it. So and many pumpkins. Yeah. And as he's about to... Uh, Smash go ham on one. Yeah, with a bat. His dog barks. He go bork. He go bork, bork, bork. That's something in the house. He's excited about it. His little tail was wagging. He said bork. Oh, he came in through the doggy door. That's fucked up. I didn't notice that before. You notice shit the more times you watch this, and I think it's really fun. Yeah, you do. That's with basically any movie, but, like, <laughs> stuff like this. Anthology, stuff like this. But yeah, he looks up at the ceiling because he can hear footsteps upstairs. No, thank you. Your house is haunted, Greg. I hate to tell you this. Your so house is gets, severely he, haunted. He gets a shotgun. Yay! This is gonna fucking work. The dog is already upstairs. It's alluded that the dog gets killed, but we don't see the dog die, so it's fine. Thank God. <laughs> No, we don't see the dog die, but Sam, it is dogs over are off him. limits. Go to your room, Sam. It's dogs, babies, dogs, babies, and possibly small children. It depends. Possibly small children. Possibly small children, and like older children, teens, young adults, and adults. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Go ham. Yeah, but like animals, babies, and like maybe toddlers. Toddlers aren't thin ice though. <laughs> This is a joke. <laughs> it's a fucking joke, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Making me choke on my saliva again. <laughs> I, just, I swear to God, guys. This is a fucking joke. It's a joke. joke. It's Halloween. It's Halloween. We're fucking around. We're joking. We are fucking around, okay? Uh, I promise. It's, it's a joke. It's a joke. It's a fucking I'm joke. always like this with my siblings ever since they were kids. It's a joke, I swear. <laughs> but yeah, he he's he's going upstairs and he hears his dog... And you just hear little whimpers. Alluded that he's dead. Yes. We don't get confirmation. No, we don't get confirmation. But he goes into, I think, his bedroom or just a bedroom in the house. Uh, I think it might be his. I'd be surprised if it was not another bedroom, though, because his house is so big. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, because I'm just like, I don't... It could be his bedroom or a bedroom. But either way, he goes to a bedroom. Mm Mm-hmm. And he sees something like moving under the covers and when he removes it it's just a little a little toy hand it looks like it's just a little toy hand god turn some lights on homie he's about to shoot that thing too you can't fucking see shit bro but it's just a it's just a little fucking toy ass hand and then look jack-o'-lantern goes up in Flames. flames illuminating the room and he looks around his walls and it's all just trick or treat it's all just the the little song trick or treat. Trick or treat, give me something good to eat. Yeah. Grumble smell over smell my feet is supposed to be in there somewhere, but Yeah. And he gets his Achilles tendon fucking sliced by a razor from under the bed. Cause Sam's being a little whippersnapper and hiding under the bed. He pokes his little head out. He said hello From the other side. His hand. You can see his little hand. He's reenacting corpse bread. Uh! <laughs> He has a little hand and he pokes his little head out and he's moving towards like the end of the bed and I think it's the cutest thing ever. <laughs> I know you just want to adopt this dude. I do just want to adopt him. Look at him. He tilts his head and everything. I think it's so cute. He watches too much Halloween. <laughs> he tilts his head like Michael Myers. He tilted his head to the side. You know how Hello. like you know how like when your pets do that? He did that. Mm-hmm. And it's very fucking cute. I love Sam so much. <laughs> Sam's adorable. Sam is adorable. Um, but yeah, Mr. Krieg is just like, what the fuck are you? 
Me too, dude. <laughs> and um, Sam pulls out his little candy and he un- unwraps it. Revealing a razor inside the chocolate. That he just sliced his Achilles with. Let's yep. go. He goes to shoot at him and Sam is suddenly gone. He shoots the pumpkin, though, that was just ablaze. Yeah. Making everything go dark once more. So now he's limping, going... No longer has an Achilles tendon on one of his legs, so nope. that's fun. So now he's uh, he falls down the stairs because Ouch. there's a bunch of candy. Sam likes to and... watch Home Alone as well. Um... <laughs> It's candy and glass. And there's like a little a little candy that falls down the stairs. It's candy, glass, and razor blades. Razor blades, yeah. Ouch. So this there's a little little candy falling down the stairs. Mm-hmm. And this dude is just fucking getting up and I'm just like, oh, how the fuck do you do that? But with Adrenaline. His, with his, uh, basically his fingers are all cut up and gross and slimy Ouch. with his blood. He cannot unlock his front door. That sucks. And that's his fault for having so many locks. Yep. And then you see Sam pulling a Spider-Man going up on the ceiling. Yeah, he, he watches Spider-Man <laughs> crawling, crawling up on the ceiling. He's truly a little kid. He is a little kid. Uh, it's like, what, 2007? The first Spider-Man came out in, what, 2003? I'm pretty sure this little kid watched the whole Spider-Man movie before the day, before the night. And he wanted to imitate it. <laughs> That's it. That's funny. He's but, yeah. doing a great job. <laughs> He's so proud of himself. But yeah, Mr. Krieg was able to kind of unlock his his door. Still can't get a grip. Successfully. Because they're bloody. But it's so fucking funny. Because when Sam jumps down from the ceiling and onto to Krieg, it sounds like a fucking pig. <laughs> Like a pig squeal. That's For funny. a second. And I think it's funny as hell. That's funny. I didn't notice that. Yeah. I, I have to watch this again and actually listen. He giggly boy. It's also really funny looking. It is. Because it's just this old man wrestling a little kid that's on his back. It's really funny. He's able to slam him against the wall. Yeah. Uh, it's just, it just looks really funny. <laughs> we know Sam's fine. That's why yeah. we're laughing. Otherwise we'd be like, no, you hurt the kid. <laughs> You're hitting the kid, but this is, again, with the parallel scene um, with Wilkins' uh, POV. Uh-huh. Wilkins' side of it. Where he's banging on his window asking um, Wilkins, to Wilkins help. for help. He tells him, screw you. And then he gets fucking tackled by Sam. <laughs> and then we get the rest of the scene that we didn't see earlier. Uh-huh. And Sam is going fucking ham on him right now. And uh, Craig is able ripped. to tear his mask. Unveiling a pumpkin face. Yep. Pumpkin head even. He's about to go stab him, but fucking knocks him to the ground. Krieg is able to get his shotgun after uh He gets his ankle numbed on by Sam. Yeah. I'm um, nom 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 nom. Huh? He gets shot in the head. <laughs> the way he slides in. Yeah, he gets shot in the head and he just slides to the other side. It's funny. Uh, where like the front door is? I just realized he was trying to go through the back door. Where the fuck is he gonna go? That's Into your the backyard, woods. sir. Into the woods. Here we go. Bye-bye. You don't. You don't have woods. Oh yeah, it's, it's just in. a whole fence. What a dumbass. Where the fuck was he gonna go? What are you doing to try to kite Sam around your backyard? <laughs> I think are it's you, funny. Are you stupid? Yes, he is. He's an old man. He's senile. It's yeah. fine. <laughs> yeah. Actually, no. We don't know if he's senile or not. I'm pretty sure he's not. I'm making the joke though because he's old. <laughs> it's um, funny but yeah he's able to shoot Sam with his shotgun and he, he just fucking slides to the other side he slide <laughs> and he's slumped against the Sammy boy he's just slumped against the wall Sam doesn't bleed he well he kind of bleeds he kind bleeds of. pumpkin guts and s- pumpkin seeds yes cause he's a pumpkin he's pumpkin he pumpkin head he's is this Jack little, Skellington as a child he's a little pumpkin head mm, I don't think so Okay. <laughs> Thought I'd ask. Oh, but yeah. He fucking refills his shotgun. He goes to double tap. I'll give him that. He double taps. Yeah. Even though it's in vain. He does shoot him again in the chest. And shoots his arm off. His little hand. A little hand. A little fingy. He shows his little hand off. And Mr. Creek thinks he's completely done. Like, that's, that's he's it. He's gonna call it's the okay. police. And the police are, is on hold. Like, the dispatch is on hold for a second. 
So the thing is, if you guys think it's completely insane that 911 will put you on hold, it's nothing new because it's happened to me. 911 can put you on hold and they will. Which I think is really dangerous, but... It's, it's very dangerous and stupid depending on your emergency. Yeah. I'd like to report. And then it gets pulled. The phone line gets pulled. Oh. Uh-oh. Stinky. <laughs> 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 I'm having fun. I'm having fun. I love this As movie. As you should. This I love this movie. This movie's so fun. But Krieg is like, what the fuck was that? What happened? And he gets stabbed in his foot by Sam's hand. That's... The one that got shot off. Yep. His little tiny fingers. His little hand. He starts crawling to his body and starts trying to wake him up and be like, hey, reattach me. Hello. Hello. Sent you a hand. Hello. I am I'm oh, here. Oh, it's like... Uh, it's... <sighs> What's the fucking Adam's family? It's What's like, um thing? Is it thing? Yeah. Yeah. It's a baby thing. It's a little baby thing. That's cute. <laughs> <laughs> it's a baby thing. <laughs> so yeah, we just there you go. crawling across. It's a little baby thing. It's so cute. I like that he just sits there and watches and doesn't really do anything about it. I think it's funny. No, he doesn't. Creek does not do anything. He's literally just watching this. He's watching Sam just basically resurrect himself. Hello. He's like, his little hand Hi. waves at him. <laughs> Sentient hand for the win. But yeah, he's able to reattach his hand. Sam's and... little face. <sighs> it's so cute. In a creepy way, it's cute, yeah. It's so cute. <laughs> Craig's just like, oh no. <laughs> just, oh no. You know yeah. you're fucked when you just can't even, you're just frozen. You can't do shit. And the hand also brought over his mask, too. I can't help but wonder if Sam is self-conscious about his face. I don't know, probably. But this is where we get the beginning of his lollipop, where it's it's a whole lollipop. You can see the little jack-o'-lantern face. Yeah. Um, It looks really good. It does. But then we get his little iconic look for his lollipop because he takes a bite out of it. And gets ready to go slice this man's throat. Yeah. He takes, look at his little footy pajamas. He takes a crunch. It's so cute. No footy PJs. He's comfy. He has to be comfy. He's trick-or-treating all night. Yeah, it's cold, dude. Look, it's a hard job when you're going out killing people. <laughs> on Halloween night. <laughs> on Halloween night. <laughs> Especially since lately it's been fucking cold as hell. Getting yeah. down into the 30s the way it has been. Like, look, he just wants to be comfy on his busiest night. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to be a very fun episode to post. <laughs> This is going to be a fun episode to edit. I love it. I love this movie. <laughs> we need to get this movie on DVD. Oh, I'm planning to. Yes. I'm planning to get the collector's edition. Oh, do it. Mm -hmm. So he's just slowly walking up to, to Krieg and he, coincidentally, Candy falls into his lap. His lap. He's about to fucking... He's about to stab Sam with a fucking broken bottle, which is smart and quick thinking on his end. Honestly. It's very smart, quick thinking. But Sam grabs his fucking arm and, and like breaks twists it. Yeah, this little fucking shit. Wasn't he played by like an eight year old? Yes. God, I bet he had a lot of fun. Oh yeah. So, as we just found out, Sam is strong enough to break an old man's arm. Obviously, he's also strong enough to be able to tackle the guy. So, I mean, a dude yeah. who's so much taller than him. It's so funny. But, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> so, I like that they definitely uh, seem like the intention to make this, like, funny. Because yeah. it's really funny. So, as he's about to strike him, he, he stabs, does. But he gets a chocolate bar instead. He stabs the nougat bar that Krieg took a bite into earlier and didn't yeah. eat because he didn't like it. But that's all Sam wanted. He wants some candy. So, That's yeah. That's me on my period. In the end. <laughs> me too. <laughs> In the end, Sam only did all this because, not only because he wanted candy, but because Krieg was not following the rule of trick-or-treating. Nope. He was not following the rule of giving out candy. That's another rule where you have to give out candy. Yeah. But it is in the name, you trick or treat. The yeah. dog's a trick. So technically... Technically, not really breaking the rules. Sam doesn't know that. He's a kid. <laughs> but also, he just wanted candy. And it's not his job to take care of Creed, though. No. Creed? Krieg. 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 Sometimes not my Not the band G's, Creed. No. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes my G's sound like a D for it's some okay. reason. 
It's okay. Yeah, just Sam. Sam just wanted some candy. Sam just wanted a candy. Now he's gonna toddle his way on out of there. Yeah. But he does look back at him like it's like, mm, no, I am not your job. Keep up with the traditions or I'm gonna come steal your knees. Yeah. <laughs> Basically. <laughs> yeah. I think it's funny. <laughs> I keep choking on my own saliva. This is the third time this episode. I hate myself. It's fine, <clears> though. <throat> also, he could fucking open the door with his mind. Sam's scary, bro. Open and close the door with his mind. And Krieg, Krieg is just like, he's traumatized. He's traumatized now. <laughs> he's like, what the fuck just happened? Did I, did that really happen? Oh, so we pan over to the fireplace. And we found out Krieg was actually the bus driver from yes. the story from earlier. And so I, I must say... Do you think Sam was hunting Krieg down all these years because he went so hard against the Halloween traditions? Yeah. That's what I was thinking. And also, th- he got paid well, off to do that. He's got a big <clears throat> house. How much money do you think the parents gave him? Oh, so much. Um, but I do think that it was Sam that told the kids about where Krieg lives because he was at the quarry true and this was a little earlier on in the night so this must have been before he went to the quarry uh-huh and while he was at the quarry he probably told those kids where mr creek was yes and by kids i mean those zombie kids that got the other ones that were fucking with Rhonda. yep so now we're on later in the night <laughs> now they all work for sam let's go yeah so now we're here later in the night as the little Q thing says. And we see three girls dressed in pink. And they are the three little pigs. Because I have pig masks. Yes. I do have to say, Creed got himself wrapped up really quickly. It's later in the night. He's, yeah. It's... Alright. <laughs> yeah, but... Hospitals, you take so long to check into. He probably didn't even go to the hospital. He probably did it himself. That's fair. I, I like the little detail that he gives them old man candy. It's like butterscotch and peppermints. Yeah. It's probably all he had, so. Yeah. It's okay. He did have those three sacks of candy, though. Yeah. But it's not like he's going to give it to them because Sam probably used that to make him fall down the stairs. Oh, I see. Clever Sam. Yeah. <laughs> And then the last little girl that's there, she thanks him and says that he has a great mummy costume. That dude's all wrapped up and shit. <laughs> and they, they, this is what I told Lexi. I'm like, little kids are going to be impressed no matter what adults do for uh-huh. their costumes. Even if it's like super, super simple and minimalistic. Yeah. And if it's an actual injury. Yeah. And it's like, it's not even intentional or not. Oh. They, they will think no it's a cost. They have no idea. They will think it's a costume because it's Halloween. Just because of that. I just want to see Sam playing with all the kids. Sam. That'd be cute. That'd be cute. That'd be very cute. Because he would actually have fun. Yes, he would. Yeah. My man's is vibing. Ugh, but yeah, you can just hear Mr. Oh God, I love that he kept the pumpkins as well. Yeah. He's traumatized. <laughs> oh, fuck yeah, he is. Excuse but me. But he's, he's looking around. And as he's uh, looking around, we see Billy, Billy, and he's dressed as his dad. He's orphaned! Woo! And he's also giving out candy. Yes. Um, so he's dressed as his dad, Steven. Again, this is later on in the night when almost everything has ended. Yes. All the previous events have ended. Yes. So we see uh, Steven's son, Billy, handing out candy. Mm-hmm dressed as his dad blood on his shirt and everything which i think is funny (laughs) and then Rhonda's walking home with the last jack-o'-lantern keeping her safe as she should she'll be perfectly safe in her house with all those yeah she'll be fine yeah she'll be fine and then we see the car from the beginning and it's the girls uh who are all werewolves yeah after feeding the car after feeding yep nice and cleaned up all of a sudden yep to be fair, though, they shed their skin before going ham. It's true. So, well, that's them. Lori didn't, though. I don't think she did. Did she sh- strip off her skin to feed? I'll no, think. we don't see that. Okay. We don't see that if she did or not. All right. Also, it could be her first time. It was her first time. Yeah. So, she probably didn't. She probably can't. Yeah, she probably can't yet. Yeah. Also, that's going to be really weird to, to hear out of context. Did she strip off her skin to feed? 
<laughs> but yeah, we see we see them going past in the car. And then Mr. Krieg sees Sam with his mask fixed up and everything. Uh-huh. Rhonda walks by Sam. Mm-hmm. And um Sam is looking at Krieg until he hears two people across the street. Mm-hmm. And then he sees one of them turn out one of the jack o' lanterns. Mm-hmm. And it's the same couple from the beginning. Emma and Henry. Yep. So as we see from the beginning of the movie, that's actually the end. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the events that happened in the movie is actually Sam the end. Sam had a busy night. Yep. He gonna be so tired. He gonna go meet me so oh, yeah. early. We don't even know what time it is. It's probably really fucking late this anyway. the longest night of your life. For kids, yeah, it is. Yeah. For adults, it's short as hell. And I hate it. I don't get her, because she says, like, it makes me wish every night was Halloween. And then later on, she says, I hate Halloween. I'm like, eh? I don't know. But yeah, we get the whole entire thing where it's like, oh, in ancient tradition, you shouldn't turn off your jack-o'-lantern. And when she does, we see Sam walking over across the street to start his little thing. Yeah. You could fo- probably watch this movie on a perfect loop. Oh, yeah. Probably. And these guys lollipop. Yeah. He, he looks he looks at his lollipop. He looks down at his lollipop, and he looks back up, and he's like... I could use this. Yeah. And he goes over. So then we see Mr. Creek going back into his house. Um, And right as he shuts the door. Uh Uh-oh. He hears knocking. And he's like, okay. So he has more trick-or-treaters. And it turns out to be the kids from the quarry. Uh Uh-huh. All All the zombie kids. All eight of them. Mm Mm-hmm. They're all whispering. And all they say is trick-or-treat. (laughs) <laughs> and then all you all we go, get all we get is screaming and jump cuts of comic book drawings yeah comic of book what's drawings happening of what's to happening. Krieg. it's a representation we don't get anything that's so cool i love it and that's and the that's, movie that's the movie <laughs> that's so fun i love it <laughs> love this movie so we are rating this out of five lollipops lollipops how the fuck did i write it okay there we go I gave it four and a half out of five lollipops. <laughs> I love it. Well, as we said for our uh, Halloween episode, where I gave that five out of five pumpkins, I'm giving this five out of five lollipops. <laughs> we do! Because this is my favorite Halloween movie. Anytime I see Sam, no matter where I go, like if it's at Spencer's or Hot Topic, wherever, Spirit Halloween, like last year, I just think of you, because I know this is like your favorite halloween movie it 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 definitely is um the temptation to get you that sam shirt i saw last year uh at hot topic was high (laughs) i should have i feel bad for not doing so now because it's not there anymore and oh god oh well Mm. it's fine i would i should have gotten it for you without saying anything i would just send it to you in the mail and been like i sent you something (laughs) i I want you to call me and open when you get it so you can open it which i always did before i moved here and every every time she sent me something or i sent her something we're always like we need to call each other so we can see each other open what we got each other it's very fun (laughs) (laughs) we do that for christmas and whatever else uh and whenever you like went on vacation and you sent me some stuff that you had yeah i would always get you saltwater taffy and I, I would get a toy for Molly and some decorations for you. It was always very cute, very fun. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Yeah, you got a whole pound of taffy all to yourself. I did. Well, sometimes my brother would always come in and want some. But Not last fine. year. <laughs> Not last year. You hit that shit. Yeah, I did. <laughs> um, But yeah. I mean, Lexi got me like a, a mug that's mm-hmm. trick-or-treat. And, um... Yeah, I got that for you last year, and I kept it here for you. Yeah. (laughs) As a welcome home gift. And then, um, before before I moved here, I went to Spirit Halloween um, for myself, and I wanted to, like, buy myself something. So, I got, um, two glasses, and one was, like, a Beetlejuice one, um, which was, like, Lydia-inspired, and it's, like, dark purple, and it says her, like, little quote of being strange and unusual. I myself am strange and unusual. And then I got a little trick-or-treat one where it just has, like, a pumpkin um, face on the front. And then it has trick-or-treat on the back. Yay. And then I got Sam's lollipop, which lights up. Cute. So I got that. I got that for sale, too, because it was the very last one. 
and the package had a little dent on it. So instead of, I think, like the 14 or like 12 99 it was being sold at, mm-hmm. I got it for like 5 99 Nice. Yeah. All we'll because of that little dent <laughs> that was on there. And also, my, uh, my, my lock screen is Sam for like October. <laughs> yeah, Sammy boy. So cute. Throughout all of October, my lock screen has been Sam. And it's the same scene where he's looking at Krieg where the uh, jack-o'-lantern is uh, lit up. Let me see your lock screen again. I just want to see it. Oh, yeah, it is. Oh, look at him. Yeah, it is. Oh, baby. All right, so I have... Love the demon child. <laughs> I, I have a ton of fun facts for this movie. Hit me with them. All right. Oh, it's 3.33 in the morning. Let's fucking go. Nice. Ooh, witchy hour. All right. So... Uh, the kid with the lollipop in his mouth, who, like, peeks into the girls' changing rooms when they're trying on Halloween costumes. Is that the same kid that plays Sam? Yes. Oh my god, I thought so. His name is Quinn Lord, who plays Sam throughout the rest of the movie. The director said he wanted another role for the kid, where you actually see the actor's face behind the mask. Yeah. I think that's really funny, and this is, like, totally not relevant. Because I see, I see Quinn Lord right here as the credits. Yeah. And I think of Peter Quinn and Star Lord. Oh, I know. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. <laughs> oh shit, dude. That's I, funny. I think it's um just anyone where it's like with the the last name Lord. I think of like Star Lord. Yeah, yeah. That's a badass name, Quinn Lord. I like it. Um. So for for uh most of the Jacqueline or most of Jacquelines, yeah. So most of the Jacquelines were made out of foam or um <clears throat> ceramic. Oh, cool. So, <laughs> an onset joke was that no pumpkins were actually harmed during the making of this movie. Is that actually in the credits? Uh, it's not in the credits, but Aww, it was an onset joke. That'd be funny. Oh, well, it's okay. <laughs> yeah, it was an onset joke that no pumpkins were harmed during the making of this movie. I like that. If, I, if I'm ever, ever able to find one of these pumpkins from this movie, I'm totally going to get it for you. <laughs> if I ever have the money, and I, if I ever find it, I will get you a pumpkin from this movie. Nice. So, yes, if you if you watch this movie, every single one of them, or, like, most of them, aren't real. That's really cool. They all look so real. Yeah, they're all, they're all, most of them are, all of them are fake. I see where the budget went. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kidding. Um, so, uh, characters of each story are seen in the background of other stories that they are not involved in. Mm-hmm. This was to help piece together the chronologically order of the movie. Yeah, the chronological order. Yeah. Uh, so the the film is based on Michael Doherty's animated short Seasons Greetings from back in 2004, which debuted the character of Sam. Cute. It's a very cute animation. I love it. I will show it to you later. Yay. Um, so speaking of Sam's debut, Michael has said that he doesn't want to make an origin story for Sam. Oh. Yeah. So he just, he just wants him to exist. He said he doesn't want to make an origin story um, because he feels like he doesn't need one. And he doesn't feel like, like, like once you make an origin story for a horror villain, that's, mm-hmm. that's pretty much it. Yeah. You know? You know, Sam. <laughs> so there were 18 drafts of the script and one theme that kept, that crept in along the way is the idea that each stories represent different stages of a person's experience with Halloween. So the first uh, story with Dylan Baker and his son is about how you're introduced to the holiday. Mm-hmm. The second one with the kids is you and your friends roaming around without parents for the very first time. I never did that. <laughs> I never got to do that. I'm so sad. <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, no, keep going, Claire. Um, And then the one with Anna and her friends is Halloween in your 20s when, like, you know, it's just about sex. Oh, yeah, fun. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 22. Woo! Let's go. And then the final story with Brian Cox in, is Halloween in your, like, twilight years. It's like the Scrooge of Halloween. Humbug. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so in the School Bus Massacre Revisited, a 1958 Plymouth Fury can be seen in the background, which is an obvious nod to John Carpenter's movie, Christine. Based oh, off the Stephen King novel. I noticed that car. I was like, that's a very pretty car. I didn't even fucking connect that shit. That's funny. <laughs> I was like, it's a pretty car, but it's kind of out of place because it's so old. 
Because this takes place in the 70s, but eh, whatever, I so, guess. Yeah. Uh, so the performers under the mask playing the kids on the school bus all have real disabilities or injuries. Oh, and they apparently had a blast during filming. Aw, bless. Yeah, like their costumes were inspired by a mix of photos by Ralph Meatyard and Diane Arbus, uh, capturing real mentally disabled children on Halloween on their homemade costumes. That's cute. What the fuck? I love that. It's very cute. I'm so glad they had a lot of fun with this. Oh, yeah. You could definitely tell. You could tell they had a lot of fun with this yeah. movie. Well, uh, I went into it. Definitely. The film was originally slated to be released on October 2007 for a Halloween release. Mm-hmm. Warner Brothers, without any explanation or reason, pulled the film from se- from the schedule with no rescheduled date was announced. One reason might have been that Saw 4, from like 2007, was uh, slated for release around the same time and Warner Brothers did not want to compete against it in fears of a big opening against them. Which is, it's kind of like, I guess it's kind of understandable, but... Yeah, still with, dumb. Without rescheduling it is really dumb. Yeah. Um, another possible reason the film was buried by the studio was that it was possible fallout from the box office disappointment of Superman Returns. Really? Yeah, which was because it was co-written by Trick or Treat writer and director Michael Doherty. And both produced and directed by Brian Singer. God damn it. So, whose production company produced this film? Um, There was brief talk of that the film would finally be released around Halloween 2008 and possibly uh, early 2009, but neither release never uh, materialized, and the film was released against... No, this film was was released straight to DVD in October 2009, and now you can actually watch it in theaters. Woo! Yeah, as we're <laughs> recording this, you will actually be able to watch it in AMC tomorrow. Yes. Over here. Uh, now, in the year 2022, after so long, this movie finally got its theatrical release. <laughs> Let's fucking go, bitch! <laughs> and it's finally getting the recognition and love it deserves. It's a cult classic, that's for sure and certain. Mm-hmm. It's got a cult following. It's very fun. It's a very good movie. So the fight between Sam and Krieg involved an eight-year-old stunt performer, <laughs> as well as an adult stunt woman. Oh, shit. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that must be from the shot from him in the window, because I noticed Sam looks taller in that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I thought so. That's funny. Also, I want to see where the woman's size costume was, because I really want one. <laughs> The film had many title changes before filming began. Originally titled Season's Greetings, also like the name of the short film, but it was changed because it sounded too much like a Christmas film. I was going to say, it sounds very Christmassy. Yeah. Uh, and then it was called Halloween Terrors, uh, Jack O' Lantern Tales, October the 31st, or Trick or Treat. The final title was kept, but since there was already a movie of the same name out, they just changed the spelling to Trick or Treat. Trick or treat, trick or treat. It sounds, <laughs> it tr- sounds like er anyway, not yeah. or. And obviously they couldn't call it October 31st because it sounds like a knockoff of Halloween. Yeah, it does. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, the other title was Halloween Terrors, so. That also sounds like a knockoff of Halloween, which I think is really <laughs> funny. Uh, so this movie won a 2019 Fright Meter Award for Best Horror Movie. Let's go. That's very good. Love it. As they should. Uh, so, uh, Anna's character, Lori, Mm -hmm. is named after Lori Strode from Halloween. I knew it! (laughs) I fucking knew it. Damn. So, yeah. (laughs) Um. She cute. So, in this movie, they couldn't use any recognizable candy wrappers, um, because all of the movie in the film is either, you know, poisoned or filled with razor blades. Yeah. Um. I can see where that could be a problem. (laughs) So, they had to create their own instead. (laughs) Which the crew said it was kind of fun because we got to came up, like come up with stuff like Big Fudge Vlog. God damn it. <laughs> you don't even see the names of the candy bars either unless you like really unless you fucking really, look. really look at it. But Even it's... then the candy bars are usually like being moved or something. Yeah. So you're not going to notice unless you have a really, really sharp eye. I didn't notice. Yeah, but the thing is it's like either way they had to have names just in case and then they had to change the wrappers and everything because they could not have anything that distinctly looked like name brand. Yeah. Even though some of them definitely look like Snickers bars, except really thick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so there's a movie reference. Uh-huh. Mr. Krieg says, you've got to be fucking kidding me when he sees part of the of Sam's hand operating, like, independently. 
Mm-hmm. Um, so this is a nod to a similar scene that happens in John Carpenter's The Thing, which the director, Michael Doherty, is a big fan of. Oh, nice. I like that. Oh! And we referenced that the hand reminds us of a little baby thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was an accident. A happy accident, but an accident. So, you remember the the scene where uh, Wilkins is bringing in, they, they drag in the kid inside. Yes. To his house. So, earlier cuts removed from the sequence was him carrying the child inside the house. Um... So the director said that I fought like a motherfucker to get this back into the movie. They wanted to cut for a more comedic sense in uh, sensibilities than its content as they briefly toyed with the idea of making this like a straight horror film. Oh, okay. But yeah, he had to fight to get that scene back into the movie. Damn. I'm glad it was, though. Oh, okay. So this settles it. Billy is dressed similar to Chucky from Child's Play from the bib, overalls, the striped long sleeve, the red shirt, and his red hair. <laughs> so he does have red hair. I knew it. <laughs> I fucking it's weird knew. that it looks more blonde, though. I know. It's more of like a strawberry blonde. Maybe yeah. he just didn't want to dye his hair. Probably. Which is fair. I mean, it does look red, though, so. It looks red in certain light, it looks blonde in others. Yeah. It's fine. It probably was meant to. Was the boy from Chucky. Um, did he have blonde hair? In Andy? The- yeah, Andy, does he have blonde hair? No. No? Oh, I've never seen Chucky, so that's why I was asking. No. <laughs> I was like, maybe they just did, like, a mix of, like, between Chucky and Andy's hair, but no. No. So if you pause the movie, um, so if you pause at the exact end of the title montage, you'll see Sam's real face. Really? Yes. Damn. In the beginning, if you pause just right at the end after the whole, like, montage of the, the comic images, uh-huh. you'll see his real face. Will you back it up for me so I can take a peek real quick at it? Pretty piece. I just want to see it. Oh, neat. Okay. Yeah. There you go. Oh, so Brian Cox, who played Mr. Krieg, mm-hmm. wore a wig, a wig and a prosthetics because he wanted to look like John Carpenter. Oh, okay. That's cool. Oh, so Brian Cox added wheezing to his breathing during his segment, leading uh, Michael to add it to the flashback sequence that he was in. So he pretty much like the wheezing a lot that he added it to the, oh. the bus story when he gets out of the water. Okay, gotcha. That's clever. Mm-hmm. It's the little things. I like shit like that. So the blood, the blood used to show Emma's demise beneath the sheet was boiled right before filming so it would steam. Oh, cool. I like that. Uh, so the bottle of booze in the old man's house, which ends up being... A smash and wielded as a weapon mm-hmm. is labeled Glenn McPherson, aka the director of photography. <laughs> cool. I like that. <laughs> That's like kind of what they did with um, Henry Selleck's face and Coraline on the dollar bill mm-hmm. when the mom goes to tip the drivers. In oh, the yeah, beginning. yeah. That's kind of what that reminds me of. Uh, so editing this film was described as a brutal process and hell. The only sequence that plays straight through is Krieg's demise at the end. Uh, and quote unquote, I wish we did a super special edition which allowed you to watch the stories all by themselves. And that's what the director said. That'd be fun. Like a a short, a mini series. Mm -hmm. That'd be cool. Kind of. Or just like little, little snippets. Yeah. Short films. Segments. Segments. Um, so the rock quarry was originally conceived to be a pumpkin patch. Okay. They walked through a pumpkin patch on the way. Yeah. I guess that stuck. I guess. Yeah. Uh, so the B&W educational film that opens the movie wasn't originally there. It was intentionally part of the trailer, but the director loved it so much he added it to the film. Oh, neat. Uh, so C. C. Ernest Harse has a cameo as Lori's blind date, which is the giant baby. Wait, who is it? It's uh, C. Ernest Hearth. Okay. So in 13 Ghosts, he played the ghost called the giant child. Oh. <laughs> the great child. Also a giant baby. Both films oh, are gosh. Warner Brothers release. I called him Nick Ocado Avocado. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. That's why I told you don't disrespect him. Listen. It was a great joke. Okay? It's too easy. <laughs> it's a good joke. It's a great joke, even. <laughs> but I'm gonna need you to stop. <laughs> Me at myself. 
<laughs> okay, so the opening credits include artwork from various members of the team. There are also childhood photos from various cast and crew too. Oh, cool! I like that. I like the. I just like the comics at the beginning and the end. I think it's really neat. It's mm-hmm. kind of got the same art style as the Walking Dead comics. So many of the extras during the parade sequence are members of the Vancouver Parade Lost Souls. Oh, so like, actually... It's an actual parade that they do. Ah, oh, that's cool. Yeah. Um, so it's called the Parade of Lost Souls, and they also do this every year on Halloween on in the streets in Vancouver. Bro, you wanna go? <laughs> I mean, I uh, you wanna go after this? <clears throat> <laughs> Uh, so the werewolf transformation by the campfire is a nod to the howling that was released in 1981. I figured as much. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so every single death in the move, a movie that occurs, is off camera. The deaths are either obscured by something, or the camera cuts away right before the character dies. This is a rare feat for a horror film because usually they show you, or at least they show you something. And here in this movie, they don't show you anything. I didn't notice that before. Yeah, I like it. It's effective. The only thing that you can actually kind of see is, like, Emma's death with her blood on the sheets and the aftermath of it. Yeah, it shows him getting ready to slice her throat with, with yeah. the lollipop. But then it, it pulls away right when he get, when he does it. Yeah, so you don't really see anything sprays. happening. Yeah. You always... see you, you see the aftermath. Yeah. For that. And for most of these things, you kind of do see the aftermath of it. Yeah. Except for the kids. <laughs> yeah, except for the kids. Snout mm. nose little motherfucker Macy. <laughs> Bitch. Uh, so characters and imagery from Trick or Treat can be seen in a scare zone at Universal Orlando Hollywood Horror Nights in 2017, as well as the music from the film, which also this did not just happen in Florida. This also happened in Hollywood, and I did go to this. I was getting ready to ask if you got to. <laughs> I did go to this. This was my very first Halloween Horror Nights. Um, I was, like, begging my uncle to go with me, and we honestly went as a group with me, uh, my uncle... My cousin Adam, his partner Diane, and my little sister Chelsea went with us. Amazing. And immediately, I knew I wanted to go to the trick-or-treat one first. That's fun. (laughs) And it was so fun. Like, in the first part, you walk into, like, Emma's front yard. Uh Um, It's, like, obviously, it's not as decorated, but you do see the ghosts and stuff like that. That's your first little jump scare that you get. I like it. And it's so cute. As as you walk through the house, it transforms into each different scene. Um, so you walk in there. Almost immediately, you're in, like... You're in Emma's house walking through. When you get out, you're in this, like, forest section where the wolves are. Mm-hmm. So there are people with either half a body of a wolf or there are women that have prosthetics of a wolf on. Neat. And it, I think the whole, like, the one that had, like, the whole werewolf scared my uncle. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Were there any boobies? Probably no. not. I don't think so. <laughs> um, and then we... This is a joke, I swear. <laughs> we get to uh, the part where it's Krieg's house, and I told Adam, hey, look up. And when he did look up, there was a little Sam on the ceiling, and he sprays water at you. (laughs) (laughs) And Adam's Adam's taller than me, so he got the water. I did not. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. I like that. But the thing is, like, I I saw him on the ceiling before we walked into the room, um, and I told Adam to look up, but I didn't know they were going to spray water. (laughs) Sam did a funny ha-ha. And I thought that was so funny. Um... And then you you go through it, there's a little dark area where you're seeing the front door of Krieg's house, and when, like, the lightning strikes and the music cue gets up, you see that it's lit, and you see the zombie kids from the quarry. Oh, that's ominous. Yeah, and all all you hear is the the little vampire kid saying trick-or-treat. Okay, I thought it was gonna be (laughs) wrong way, and I was about to be like, that's fucked up. (laughs) No. Trick or treat. It's <laughs> it was a very good maze. I fucking loved it. God, I want to do shit like that so badly. Uh, so around fifty minutes, you know, around there with like the, the kid vomiting. 
Yes. So the vomit was made out of edible ingredients, and the <laughs> director says, I actually had some. It was quite tasty. <laughs> That's funny. It's quite tasty. It's... I would hope so. <laughs> it looks like fucking chocolate. What was it, did they say? No. Damn. They just say it was made of edible ingredients. The, mm. That was it. Okay. I'll take uh, your word for it. So the original cut of the werewolf like orgy in the forest uh, was cut to Peggy Lee's Fever, which uh, they also have playing during the filming, but the studio executive rightfully suggested the song um, that the song should be something with more of an edge and aggression, so they went with Marilyn Manson's Sweet Dreams. <laughs> Yeah, that was a good choice. <laughs> it was. Uh, so the wolf, werewolf transformations are done practically with CG enhancements. Because uh, Doherty knows that full CG transformations don't always look the best. So a lot of the transformation that we see is... Um, this was really well done. Yeah. I think. I think it looks so really what we see, good. What we see mostly in this movie is practical effects. Yes. I love practical effects. They're so fun. There's nothing wrong with CG as long as you can do it right, but I will always prefer practical. Yeah. Because it's more fun, in my opinion. So, uh, Brick McKillop, uh, the one who plays Macy, mm -hmm. and Christine Wills, uh, Miss Henderson, the one who was in the cat costume, uh -huh. uh, also played together in Dead Like Me in 2003 as Reggie Lass and Dolores Herbig, respectfully. So, uh, when I first saw this movie back then... I could not believe that they were in this movie together. Nice. I was like, oh my god, it's them! <laughs> They're here. So, this next one. Uh, the School Bus Story is an homage to It's a Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown, and originally took place in a cemetery overgrown with pumpkins. That's an homage to It's the Great Pumpkin, Charlie Brown? Yes. How? Other than just the pumpkin patch. That's a little fucked up, don't you think? Yes. Got in. Okay, I guess. Pretty much. Uh, so the candy bar that Sam uses to attack the old man is the same candy bar that he got from the principal earlier, which is Mr. Wilkins, uh -huh. in the movie. And the uh -huh. principal put razor blades in the chocolate bars that he handed it out. You little shit! Okay. Damn. Nice little attention to detail. I didn't even realize that. Yep. That's cool. I thought Sam was just being funny. He was like, I'm gonna do this! He put a fucking razor blade in. <laughs> I thought he was being funny. Nope. <laughs> nope. Well, that's why Mr. Wilkins says to check your candy. True. So when the girls are buying costumes, Danielle tells um, Danielle tells her date to meet them at Sheets Meadow. This foreshadows that uh, they're later revealed as werewolves as it plays an idiom of a wolf in sheep's clothing. Yeah, <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so during the newscast of Halloween... Uh, of the Halloween parade, the reporter remarks, werewolves, zombies, demons, and a variety of of every variety have descended on the normally sleepy town of Warren Valley, Ohio. This is foreshadowing the creatures that end up being revealed over the course of the film. The werewolves looking for victims, the zombie in the rock quarry, and Sam looking for candy and to see if the rules of Halloween are followed. Hmm. <laughs> He's a good man, Sam. Good boy, rather. He's not <laughs> he's a man. He's, he's a little. good boy. <laughs> good boy. Sam is a good little demon boy. <laughs> so the zombie kids who kill Mr. Krieg at the end of the movie are seen at three minutes into the movie, leaving his house saturated in his blood. What? Yes, in the beginning. <gasps> no fucking way. Yeah. Dude. You said three minutes in, right? Yeah. I gotta see this. Is that them right there? That is them right yeah. there. Oh my god. That's fucked up. Yep. <laughs> They're shambling away. Yep. I love shit like that. Oh my god. I'm gonna point it out forever now. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. <laughs> There's the kids. <laughs> That's so fun. I love that. Uh, so the kids who trick-or-treat at Mr. Krieg's can be recognized as the bodies in the backyard of Mr. Wilkins' house. The clowns. No! Mm -hmm. That's fucking sad. So you're gonna like this one, and I like this one too. <sighs> Rhonda's house was modeled after the White's residence in Cary. In particular, <sighs> it was inspired by the scene towards the end of the Palmas Classic, where the house was lit by a number of candles in the windows. This foreshadows a scene in which Rhonda, 
much like Carrie, seeks revenge on her tormentors after a prank gone wrong. As she should! <laughs> Let's fucking go. That's a great homage. Mm-hmm. And this is my last one. Okay. So, cutting an adult's Achilles tendon, like Sam does, uh, to demobilize his victims is almost exactly what Gage Creed did in Jude Cradle's Pet Cemetery. That was released in 1989. Oh, I've never seen Pet Cemetery. Pet Cemetery is really good. I like it. That's it's all. It's very good. That's all the fun facts I have. Easy, buddy. <laughs> um, oh, actually, no, I have one more. Okay. This was in 2007. This is the same year that if you see, um, if you go back to like our episode on Masters of Horror, mm-hmm. again, I will say this, Masters of Horror, the episode, episode 10 in season two, uh, we all scream for ice cream. The little kid that's in there in the movie, um, he is Quinn Lord. The little kid who asks his dad, like, oh, did you bring me ice cream when he comes back home from a funeral? That's Quinn Lord. So you can see his his little face and everything. He's no just shot. a little normal kid. Yeah. I love that. Little <laughs> dude. Let's go. What are I always doing nowadays? Uh, I have no idea. There is going to be. There, oh there's. God. I can't say there is going to be because there's only talks about a sequel. Damn, can we. Does he have a Twitter? Can we talk about Twitter? Oh, I hope we can tag him on Twitter. I will definitely tag him and the director on Twitter. Please do. He did such a good job. He was a great little Sam. <clears throat> um. Oh, yeah. Again, there's talks of a sequel, and the director has done a little interview talking about it. And he, so he said that this is where I got the information where he doesn't want to create an origin story for Sam. Okay. Um. He also, they also asked him, if you would bring back any of the characters to do a different role in the movie as, you know, like cameos and stuff like that. And he said, no, if he were to bring back characters, they would have to be in the same characters they played at. Okay. They would still have to be the same characters they played. We bring Rhonda back? Just older. Yeah. Um, he said it's a possibility. It's just up up in the air right now because they don't really have anything, you know, concluded. Yeah. I love um, a sequel to this. <clears throat> same here. They also asked him if they would keep, uh, if they would keep like a little kid playing Sam, and or if he would get a, a little person to play Sam. Yeah. And he's like, no, I would get an actual child. There you go. Um, because like children move differently than a little person does. Yeah. So he likes the way that children moves for this particular thing. Yeah. Especially he liked the way that Quinn Lord played Sam. So he's like, if he were to make the sequel, he would get another kid actor to play Sam. Fair enough. Have to have Quinn Lord have a cameo in that. Oh, definitely. I would love him to have, like, a little cameo in this. Um, But also, there has been, like, another kid that has played Sam because um, Michael has directed uh, those Atmos effects um, like the ones that you see that you can put on your doors or your windows. Mm-hmm. He directed those, and he was able to get a kid actor to play Sam for all those scenes that you see. So, yeah. Yeah. This was a very fun movie. <laughs> it I was, had a hell of a time. It was a super fun movie. Again, this is one of my favorite Halloween movies because of the fact that it's super fun. It's an anthology. It grabs your attention no matter what. Yeah. It's so good. Hey, Quinn, if you're listening to this, <laughs> would you please, um, can we have an interview with you? Please? Oh, that would be great. Honestly, like, if we could get an interview with, like, Quinn or the director, like, for Or fifth, both? Or both. Like, honestly, like, a probably, like, a 15-minute interview, at least. I would love that. Like, 10, 15 my, minutes. I would lose my fucking mind. <laughs> I would lose my mind, too. I, I would love to interview you guys for this. Um, it would be so fun. <laughs> please. Uh, so, uh, again, like, this movie is finally getting its fucking due. And I love it. Even though it has had, like, their following all these years. Obviously, people are fucking It's finally getting noticed. It's finally getting more noticed. Um, and I, I love that. I love that it's finally getting its theatrical release and everything. Yes. It's so good. I'm so happy for it. Love it. (laughs) Little Red's been in here almost the entire time listening in. He's sleepy. He's adorable. He is a little baby. Oh my goodness. Well, little spooks, that's going to be it for us today. 
You know what? Join us tomorrow as we talk about our ghost stories and not just our own. We will be reading the ones that you all sent to our email. Yeah. Don't forget to rate us and tap that bell icon on Spotify so you don't miss an episode. We are also on Google Podcasts and iTunes now. Um, if you want to follow the Guarded by Demons socials, we're on Twitter at Guarded Demons. We're also on Anchor, YouTube, and Instagram at Guarded by Demons. We also have an email, guardeddemonpod at gmail.com. If you want to write in and suggest some topics, movies, or games we could play on the podcast. Also, if you rate us five stars on iTunes uh, and leave us a review, we will read it right here on the podcast. Yes, we will. Also, be nice when you send emails. I will cry. I read them, and I will cry if you're not nice to us. (laughs) (laughs) She has the control of the email. I have the control over the podcast on Google and iTunes. Yeah. So, yes, I will be the one to read your uh, wonderful reviews if you rate us and review us. Which would be great. Tell us how we're doing. (laughs) Okay, so once again, I am Kimberly, and if you want to follow me on any of my personal accounts, I am the Lesbian Spook on Twitter and Spooky Scary Lesbian on Twitch and Tumblr. Uh, Tumblr, I write a lot of spooky fanfiction, and Twitch, I play some horror games. It's mostly Resident Evil. I'm trying to branch out into other games, but as of right now, I'm just hyping up for Resident Evil 4 Remake next year. And on Twitter, you will get a lot of, like, horror movie updates, as well as, like, horror movie memes. You will get a lot of stuff about being a lesbian, appreciating other lesbians of color, and just advocating for lesbian rights and lesbian safe space. (laughs) Yeah. <laughs> and as same goes with our Twitter. We both have um, access to the Twitter, and I mainly re- retweet a lot of stuff from other podcasts that we follow, um, and a lot of like the directors and writers and actors that I we follow on there. I retweet a lot of stuff <laughs> yeah. for you guys to consume. Um, so yeah, if you are listening to this on YouTube, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell icon so you don't miss any notifications. Uh, don't forget to comment on our videos and suggest us some movies or topics you would want to, like, talk, for us to talk about. Um, we have, like, the next year planned, but we can always move our schedule around whenever you want. (laughs) <laughs> if it well, whatever uh, we want if you don't it have fits, any control. you know <laughs> if it fits yes um we can always move the schedule around and that's okay i'm excited uh and i'm lexi if you want to follow me on twitch uh it's at semi pro eagle i'm also on twitter and tiktok under the same handle i play a variety of games over on twitch i'm replaying red dead redemption 2 at the moment uh, a lot of the time i'll be playing uh skyrim or slime ranger i do draw in there from time to time and do a couple of cooking streams um, TikTok, I just post clips from, uh, my, from my Twitch VODs and stuff. Uh, just funny moments, whatever. And on Twitter, I just reblog animals, uh, stuff, just stuff that I like, or I'll yell at NFT accounts that try to hack into mine. <laughs> and that's, that's it for me. All right, guys. Stay, Stay spooky. spooky.